Yo, what's up? Bro? Yo, what's going on, everybody? Look at Jordan bobbing his head, bro. Fuck yeah. What's up, guys? How what's you doing? Up? Episode 40, TBC. I don't want to say the whole fucking name, but you know what? I'm going to. I was trying to be cute with the whole TBC thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, hashtag. I like it. I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm trying, I'm yeah, trying I'm to shorten concerned. it up, make yeah. it sound a little Acronyms. cool. But... Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I always get mixed up with the uh, Elvis. Uh, we are, we are finally at 40, episode 40, Backlog Chronicles. We're live. Thank you guys for being with us. Then um, we were actually supposed to have uh, Darge Knight. Darge was supposed to be with us. And, uh, uh, he like literally just an hour ago, he told me, man, he's like, just something came up and he wasn't able to. And honestly, he really, really wanted to He's he's pretty, uh, he felt like shit about it, you know, but, uh, then, uh, my brother, my man, Jordan, Jordan Albano, he stepped up to the plate, Mr. Jordan. Thank you for joining us this week. Yeah. How course. are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. Um, spur of the moment. But I'm happy to hang out with you guys and just you know shoot the shit. So thanks for yeah. having me. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming on, dude. I appreciate totally. you as always. If you guys don't know, Jordan's a healthcare provider. He is a uh, he's got uh, pro he's probably the best looking gamer I've ever seen. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. And he was the <laughs> Xbox ambassador. Which which year was it, Jordan? I forgot. Oh uh, God, uh, 2018. 2018 man yo that's some good shit man that's some good <laughs> shit pleasure to have you as always baby thanks for joining us uh kevin what's up man what's up man i'm i'm, I'm juicing doing, up bro? i'm getting what's ready i got the caffeine uh yeah. not much man not much man been busy already fucking work today but uh, uh you know hopefully nobody calls me and i don't have to just uh drop off the podcast and go save a life somewhere oh yeah but um but yeah, no, no, busy week. Um, I just caved today and loaded all 100 gigs of the Avengers on my Xbox. And started to play that, and I don't know why, besides the fact that I want to be a superhero, and I want Mike to love me. I was this close to Mike, I was this close to opening my Xbox copy, I swear to God, man. But I'm, I was this close to buying an Xbox I'm going to wait until you get it. Once right, you get yeah. it on the I'll Xbox, get the next right, hey, but here. FYI, I don't know if you're gonna be able to to, to move all of your uh, to move That's all of true. your you're progress over. Start over. These guys, come on, come Jeez. on. Do you think I give a shit about that? <laughs> I understand how this game works. Not for real, though. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'll probably be getting it on Xbox just to even oh, yeah. have the have the stuff again. Good for you, Kevin. Yeah, I saw, yeah, yeah. I'm, I saw excited. Some, I'm excited. I'm excited. You're more marvelous than normal. I, I am. I, I'm feeling more marvelous than normal. <laughs> it's yeah, weird is, that man. it's a hundred on Xbox. It is. It's it is like the big 60. download. Yeah, it's only like sixty or seventy on PlayStation. Well, no, probably because of the extra. Remember, uh, he's downloading the Series X version. Right. So okay. It, pro it probably has like the textures and all that. It other, does. That's crazy. All, the, you know, all that uh, other beautiful shit. It's looking then, good. It's looking uh, good. That beautiful shit. Yeah. <laughs> The one that makes the game prettier. And then, of course, as always, my man, Sheen Gun Mike. Yo, what up, what up, what up? What up? What's man, going nothing on? much. Uh, this week, still in the Xbox, still on the Xbox, still doing that. Good stuff for superheroes. I know we were just talking about Avengers, but uh, Zack Snyder Cut, uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon came out today, so I'm like going to check that out. Snyder Cut was not the it? same fucking movie. It is not the same movie, bro. And you watched it? Yeah, it took me what? two days, and like, of course, it, uh, it, like took me a while to watch it. But like, it's a different vibe. It's a different feeling. Like everything about it is just like, you're just like, dude, that is crazy. Like this is something. I feel like that whenever you look at media, this is one of those things where it stands out in particular because of what happened to it and how it whatever it is i and i feel like it's one of those things like sonic but a bigger level where it's like the fans might kind of have a little bit of control of like what happens like it might take a long time and it might take like a big force of like 
mm-hmm. you know, power like through the fans and like move movements and stuff like that. But it's I think it goes down as one of those big things like Sonic in a way, you know, where it's like, dude, the fans made a difference for that. And the difference matters. If you guys know the difference or like have seen the Justice League and like whatever about it, man, this movie is just completely different. It's great. I love it. Um, so it, anyways, it, at any rate with the Xbox and all that stuff, I'm feeling like the old days, you know, back in the, back in the olden days when shit was releasing all the time. And it was like, you know what I mean? Like popping every month, you had something to kind of be like, yo, yeah. dude, this is the bigger, this is the next big thing or whatever. Right. You know, it kind of feels like that a little bit. And it makes me miss the old days, bro. Mm-hmm. Where's all that at? But yeah, good stuff happening this week. How That's about you, Mo? Show, what you been up to, brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm excited, dude. I didn't even introduce myself. I don't think I need to, though. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but, uh... humble, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, for me, I been all over the place really started prey and then i've been making a bigger push with resident evil 7 this past week yeah jordan knows all about that i've been all right Mo, be yeah, honest with me, brother be honest yeah. with me, brother yeah are you playing it with headphones like volume oh, yeah. up volume, volume up. come on bro yeah you volume know i go up. if i'm lights gonna do out. something oh uh, yeah even lights off yeah lights i got out. one light uh, hold lights on up. i got i got one light behind me all right but for the most part okay. i'm playing i'm playing in the dark <laughs> All right, look, man. I know, I know, I'm a big bitch when it comes to this stuff. It. All right, but I figured, I, I figured if I'm gonna do this, I gotta do it right. But I'm making a nice push, man. I was just uh, telling these guys before you jumped in, Jordan. Um, uh, I killed the mutated Marguerite. Nice. Yeah. yeah dude, nice. I, I literally just killed her right before jumping on. And, That's a great uh, fight. Yeah, it was, man. It was. God, she was such a bitch. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. but. She's and then I just wanted, the, I want to make sure I killed her and then saved before I yeah. started Prey, but then I kind of put Prey on the side because I really, really want to focus on Resident Evil 7. And the one thing, honestly, with Resident Evil 7, that's like the first time I play a, like a bona fide horror game, right? Because you guys know, it's just never been my thing. I, 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 I don't like horror games. I don't like jump scares, but I'm kind of over the horror, the whole horror aspect of it. I think now it's just really a... It's just the tension that I have to deal with constantly, right? And then obviously there's the jump scares that come with it because no matter how much you, no matter how much you try to, you know, deal with the tension or prepare yourself for any jump scares, they still fucking come whenever you're not expecting them to. That's at least good. for me. But like the whole horror thing, you know, especially with the <laughs> headphones, man, the sound design of that game is just unbelievable. I know I'm late to the party, but Jesus Christ, it's so oh, good. Yeah, dude. Just doors I, closing I, in the background. Mm-hmm. Fucking weird shit. It's 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 amazing. It's amazing how they just they pull you in and you really feel like like damn dude, like you're there. You know, and you're so, playing it on the Xbox on, though? On, yeah, on the series. The series? X, yeah. Whew, yeah, how's so that? It looks good, man. HDR is nice. Uh, Yeah, the RE engine. It's in 4K. If I'm, if I'm, uh, from if I remember correctly, runs in a nice 60 FPS. It's beautiful, man. It runs really, really well on 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 the console. So, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, I think that's it, man. Honestly, that's that's uh that's I've kind of just been focusing on that. Um, what about you, Jordan? What are you playing, Uh bro? Yeah, man. Um, still playing PGA. You know, that's always a good time with that. The um, that uh, elimination mode that they added, we got to try that out. And I know you won, which was a which was a cool moment for you. That was cool, man. <laughs> I can't believe I pulled that off. Right, right. <laughs> um, still dabbling in Halo a bit, obviously, with the tournament and um, a little bit of the division. I've checked out uh, revisiting Prey after the enhancements, which is awesome. Um, and I actually did fire up the outer, the outer worlds the other day, just to see what that looks like. And it does look really nice at 60 frames, man. It does. It, it does. does. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even gotten to that, but yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. uh, uh, yeah, but that's outer the thing. Like, like, okay. It looks like too, too much of a bunch of other shit put together, which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying, no. <clears throat> but it just has that genericism to it. I'm sure there's something in there to like. Cause like mm-hmm. what I've seen and this like a uh, cyberpunk or whatever, but I feel like if it's like I would to play one of those types of games, I, it wouldn't be that one. Mm-hmm. If that mm-hmm. makes any sense, you know, I'd rather go Skyrim or something like revisit some type of, I know it's like kind of different, but you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
look, I, I, I keep, you know, the funny thing is, is we always talk about, you know, because the name of this show is the backlog chronicles. We literally don't fucking ever chronicle oh, any of our backlog <laughs> at all. All right. It's like, it, it, it's hilarious. Really. When I think about it, even there's been like a few times where I'm like, man, should I just, should we just rebrand the name? But then I'm like, nah, no, we I are, think, man. Bro. You know, that, that's what it is. You know, so I'll talk but, about any time, any video game, any race, date, whatever. Yeah, I, I know. Shit. But that's the I'll thing, right? Up. Like, I mean, especially this period that we've been in. Like, I mean, I was just talking about us playing, Re like me playing Resident Evil 7. Like, yeah, technically that is the backlog. So yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, I love it when we talk about baby. old games, man. Shit that, like, I even, even the outer worlds, do I want to get to it at some point? Yeah. Mm. But uh, we have like, a few weeks left, you know, until like, you know, then you got Returnal and then yeah, it gets sped up a little bit there. Yeah, huh? Then it's over in May, you know, May is huge, right. you know, right. between Ratchet and Clank and Resident Evil eight and God knows what else it's, it's mm -hmm. over. Like the backlog can kiss my ass then, you know, but until then <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's got my attention. Um, yeah, dude, that's awesome. Kevin, what are you playing, man? Um, uh, shit, man. I'm, I'm probably, uh, splitting my time between division two um and uh now the avengers i'm probably going to try to work my way through that uh the, the single player story at least mm -hmm. try to try to get through that i i hear that the story's good so you know if i get that out of it then eh, i'm totally okay with you know the 30 bucks that i got it for um i waited this long i just really wanted to play as some superheroes i've been uh, there's some something, something there and they do a pretty good job some of those uh heroes are you know feel feel good to to play as and it's kind of you know it's got its jank i'm sure but uh i'll figure that out when i get there and, and division two has been fantastic uh wife and i have actually been playing it and i got her through the warlords of new york expansion and mm -hmm. uh now we're just kind of grinding and and leveling up and doing the the seasonal you know manhunt uh, nice, that, man. they, that they restarted so yeah yeah that's been about it um mostly xbox uh you know i'm looking for a reason to dust off the ps5 um maybe dude, returnal dude hey it's it's fucking weird right like i mean it's been everybody knows it's you know it's it's not really any fanboy bullshit but just yeah i uh, the only time i remember i was like i wanted to play bloodborne and that was like a couple of weeks ago and then i was like nah, no, you play still, Resident Evil. no you uh, want to play that still more trust me Honestly, man. <laughs> honestly, man. I I might as just just let them just do whatever it is that they're gonna do with 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 sixty FPS or whatever it is. Because <laughs> yeah. the more, look, man. Even coming from PC gaming from before, you know, I went console PC console. So sixty FPS was always it was always great, right? It was always freaking awesome. And the more we play games that are sixty FPS, especially now we're just being so spoiled with the boost you know yeah, that we've right. gotten and whatnot like dude it's just hard man it's fucking hard and honestly oh, even when i, I go back and think about it i loved cyberpunk so much that i put 140 hours into 30 into 30 frames per second just so i can have a better visual fidelity for the game right i mean but that's probably the last time that i'm going to be doing that for a for, for a hot minute man I'm you're, not so gonna bougie, you. Val. you're so bougie you're so bougie dude i'm <laughs> telling you like because the more 60 games 60 frames games we play like it's just hard right i'm checking it, it's hard so it even is if, hard yeah and with something like bloodborne dude i waited all this time you know i mean i'll wait if whatever yeah they're gonna do, they're gonna remake sure. it remaster whatever it is uh-huh yeah you know but i'm there with th you. but i'm just kind of like piggybacking off of what kevin said because yeah, man, I haven't really had a, I haven't, uh, I've, 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 I've been looking to dust it off too, but uh, it's going to be Returnal and Ratchet and Clank. Like, I already know that. Yeah. I know once Returnal comes, I'm going to be playing that, like, without question. And I know once Ratchet and Clank comes, I'm going to be playing that. That's also no question, but um, that'll probably be the next time so I, I turn it on, maybe. Mike, what are you playing, up, bro? Baby? Oh uh, well, let's see. Let me like really dial in because it's been a lot lately. I'll tell I'll tell you that, man. Uh, so I played Dishonored two a little bit of that. The Hawkeye thing came out like yesterday or something. I played through that. Pretty cool, whatever. Dishonored. Um, I'm liking it, man. Like that's a cool ass game. Uh, let's see, Halo, Halo one. I cannot help like but to keep clicking back and forth from the graphic settings with the button dude because it's like it instantly takes me back to back in the day like xbox yeah. xbox original days mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna lie dude you know we had it pretty fucking good back then too mo you know what i'm saying guys like holy smokes 
And I mean, it's like, dude, it blows my mind, man. Like what Halo did, how did these creators, like, that's what I think about primarily is like, yeah. they sat back and they were like, let's make this shit as epic as possible. How do we do that? Even when they first show Master Chief, it like, it's like a conversation piece with like a general or something that it's like, go fucking wake him up, you know? And then it pans to him and then it's like the instant uh, uh, choir music. And you're just like, whoa, what? This was back in, Legendary. when did that one release? When did Halo 1 release? 2001. Yeah. Dude, wow. it's like they were ahead of its time. That's when I graduated from high school, man. Yeah, you that's know what, what I'm saying, out. dude? Like, dude, holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's inter interesting to see because it's like when I did experience it as a young man because I was still probably, I think I was like, still maybe an eighth grader or whatever at that time and you know it's like one thing it's just a video game oh first person shooter they do the grenades good they do the shooting good like it's cool but it's not like how i'm looking at it right now and mm -hmm. the way i'm looking at it right now because they got the change settings and stuff it is just yeah. like we are fucking spoiled bro because the alien ships like i don't know why it is but when i go back to the old setting the alien ships just look pure what you would think the inside of an alien ship would look like Oh, it's just super weird. It's super like, oh, like if you were actually there, you wouldn't be surprised. You'd be like, no shit. I've seen this in Halo before, <laughs> you know, or whatever, because it's so like on the nose. It's so good by giving you that like alien space. I'm on a different world. When you see the Halo ring, it's fucking amazing, you know, and it's just like it, you know, they don't make them like they used to, you know what I'm saying? They don't make them like they used to. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, but well, holy smokes. Well, that's the thing, dude. They've always gotten better with every iteration, you know. Dude, I mean? grander so, too, man. Like, yeah. and I see that. I see the same type of feeling in that Bullet Storm game, which I know is like another, like, all Xbox creator, correct? The guy who made Gears of War. People can fly. So people can fly made uh, one. It was like a spinoff of uh, Gears of War. It was called Gears of War Judgment. So they made. Um, they oh, made uh okay. yeah, they made bullet storm which was really cool they kind of like made a name for themselves with bullet storm dude and you then can they tell... made uh, and then they made gears of war judge yeah you can tell that like grandiose effect that uh cinematic it's grand like you got big ships you know they pull that off nicely like mm -hmm. and i feel like they all got that on that side on xbox well, yeah, you know what oh, i'm yeah. saying i don't well, know what it is but well, dude it's well, which sexy is why it's kind of weird you mentioned that too because outriders is coming to game pass you know but we'll talk about it. and go and outriders is made by people can fly oh but, uh, wow yeah That's, yeah but we'll, oh okay yeah we'll get wow. to that in a bit i got oh, you yeah. anyway uh let's get into it man there's uh we got some shit to cover for the week you know we got some chunk. I, we got some chomped and then I already mentioned it to, uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff, to, you know, I tweeted it out. I'm like, yeah, it's all regurgitated stuff you've already heard and all the shows that you've watched throughout the week, but this is mine. <laughs> um, let's go. Okay. So to quickly go over it, the Xbox headset, the that $99 headset, the wireless headset that came out, reviews came out for it, uh, a lot of... A lot of people seem to be impressed with it, to be honest with you. Uh, for me personally, because I'm 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 staring at six headsets right here, right right in front of me. Like I'm I'm a headset junkie. So even then, you know, like I remember I bought the Sony Pulse, the 3D headset at launch, and I wasn't really too impressed with it. I thought the build quality was lacking, and uh, it just it didn't have that like that thump, you know, that mm -hmm. I was looking for mm -hmm. from a sound perspective, even with the Tempest audio engine, which is excellent in its own right, but I didn't feel like I took advantage of it properly. Uh, so when these were announced, I'm like, okay, like, I mean, yeah, I kind of like, you have to keep your expectations tempered, you know, without trying to sound like a douchebag for a $99 headset, you do have <laughs> to temper your expectations, you know? So All right. I'm like, you know what? They showed them off and, the, the you know, a lot of the functionality in it, you know, they talked about it from before. So I was like, hey, let me, let's, let me give it a shot. You know, let me try it. And dude, I fucking like them. They're great. They're excellent. Sound quality for, for the money that you pay is really, really good, man. I am very impressed with them. So these are them. Um, and then obviously you have the mic right here, which just comes, you know, it's just like folds and whatever. And then there's a light at the tip 
you know, if it's muted or on. And then on the left side is your uh, game audio versus, it's a dial, game audio versus uh, the, uh, the chat audio. On the right side is the master volume, same thing. Okay, okay. it's just a dial. And then turn it on. And if you turn it on with this green button, the Xbox itself turns on, right? Like if you turn on the headset. And then, dude, yeah, they sound really, really good. It's, uh, it's. I'm, I'm telling you, I was really stunned. I was, I was pretty surprised. And then even uh, Dan, uh, Dan Rodriguez from Season Gaming, um, uh, he loved them, you know. And then Dan's got even, Dan's got like a hundred headsets, you know. I mean, if I, I thought I was bad, he's even worse. But he said, you know, he's like, for the money that you pay, he's like, these are excellent, you know. So I really, I, I, I and also if you do get them. I would really recommend to use Miles Dampier from Windows Central. He his settings were are excellent. Uh, so obviously it's not crystal clear, you know, like with like a three hundred dollar pair of headsets or something. But again, the headset the, the audio quality is great. Takes good advantage of the Dolby Atmos. Um, his settings are pretty good. His bass boost was too fucking high for me. He went to five plus. I lowered it to three plus. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, if anybody's really, uh, if anybody wants like a good entry headset, like a very, very good entry headset, I would, I, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, Jordan, I know you were interested in the headset, man. Uh, at some point, what did you think of it, dude? You know, I, I think it's really cool. Um, I, I've been very excited to, to see all the, all the positive reviews about it. Um, I would be in the market for one if I didn't have two already. So I, I think I spoke about it before, but I use a Lucid Sound LS35X, which I love. Mm -hmm. And what I'm wearing right now is the Rig 800s. Mm -hmm. But um, I love how Xbox incorporated the, um, <clears throat> the, the, the controls into those dials and the ear cups. That, that's one of my favorite things about the Lucid Sound tech. Um, I, yes. and I like how there's a, there's a feedback that I, that I think Dan mentioned to you, how like you can – with lucid sounds you could turn the wheel left and right and you'll hit the min and max but there's no like point where it'll click in the feedback one where it says like you know, if you're right in the middle as far as the balance yes of the game versus audio i think that's yes. fantastic that's yes. a cool little quality of life thing yes yeah. um but yeah if, if i didn't already have these two already i would i would totally scoop one up if i could yeah no no definitely the, he's right it's that tactile yep uh, mm -hmm. yeah th in the middle and that's actually um uh, I mentioned it to you guys the first day I tried them. I was like, man, there's like this little tactile <laughs> feedback on the left side. And it's cool because on the Astro A50s, they have that, right? Like, I mean, when you when you go between uh, game audio and chat audio, there's a little beep that you hear when you're halfway through. And then there's like a double beep that you hear when you're either when you're at either extreme. Cool. So and then that's like one of the things like the Odyssey that I have. Like, I mean, they don't have that, right? Like, I mean, uh, so it's a nice little quality of life thing that, that any headset I think should have. Yeah. Um, Kevin, I know you got them. Yeah. 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 What do you know. think, man? I am, I'm liking them. I'm liking them. I got a big ass head and, <laughs> and they fit, they fit pretty comfortably. Um, <laughs> I do. I do, man. My, 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 my dome is enormous. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and I enjoy that. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I think, um, I do miss, uh, flip to mute, but I do like, auto mute or whatever the hell it's called mm, yeah uh, auto mute tends to work pretty well that's not on by default um but you can go into the accessories and turn it on um and it, you know it's comfortable uh i had some connectivity issues initially but then i went and played for like six hours and had none so who the fuck knows it could have been wire i mean it's wireless so shit happens but uh the um the ninety nine dollar price tag is nice, dude. Because I have yeah. some, um, I have some Astro A twenties, and I've had Turtle Beach Stealth, you know, six hundred, seven hundreds, and I'd say the build quality is better than most headsets or yeah. all headsets, nice. really. Yes, at that price point, um, the Astro A twenties um, sounded a little better, but they also came with a fucking dongle that was yeah. enormous and so then you got another yeah. another usb port that you're taking up um, so i like that this is dongleless, and uh and yeah dude i don't know that there's a better headset for the xbox at 100 bucks i mean i don't think there is i i I'd, I'd say this is it if you're looking for you know a, a better than your you know 20 dollar afterglows but you don't want to spend astro a50 money um mm -hmm. so um yeah, yeah, and Phasma knows about them big, big dongles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, 
the 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 that's another cool thing too about the you know just connecting it straight to the console i thought that was apparently that was like something with the older uh the older xbox uh consoles like it's like there was just some disconnection issues with the uh, with any headset that just tried to previously connect straight uh to the console itself so yeah man yeah. that's awesome yeah, so i'm you're pretty much echoing what i'm saying yeah mm-hmm. mike mm-hmm. man once yeah you i mean I'm just, i know i don't know about headphones these headphones specifically just because I don't know. Like, I don't go out of my way to buy headphones. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so it's just like one of those things where it's like, if I bought the PlayStation's headphones, like I wouldn't think to buy the brand name headphones. I've told you the ones you're wearing are the ones you're wearing are better, way better. Yeah, I like these a lot. And yeah, and that's the thing. Like, because I wouldn't go out of my way to be like, all right, I need headphones for my Xbox. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Xbox has. Like, I would just go like, let's see what the best you know headset for xbox would be you know what i mean but i guess mm-hmm. for the 99 dollar price tag i bet it's a killer startup for those you know those young chaps that are like mommy you know <laughs> mommy, my shit. mommy yeah. mommy <laughs> mommy daddy please buy you know, me you're headset, still daddy. Like mowing lawns and stuff uh, and video games like all right like you know two weeks of work we'll get you a hundred dollar pair of headset or whatever nice man yeah so Anyway, yeah, so basically, really, if, if anybody's on the fence about it, you know, for the money, you're not breaking the bank and you're getting some, you're getting a pretty bang out, mm-hmm. getting a pretty bang, uh, banging job with them, to be honest with you, you know, and then they even have like right and left on the head, on the cups themselves, you know, so you don't get, where the fuck am I? Oh, look, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a solid, it's a solid headset. Yeah, yeah, so, so when so you're, you're when you're drunk as shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that's perfect. All right. So that was at least uh, one of the things that Xbox started out with. Uh, they had themselves a hell of a week, man. Uh, you know, headset comes out, great reviews. Then all of a sudden, uh, they confirmed that rumor about Outriders uh, coming to Game Pass on day one. Uh, so it was announced by uh, Square Enix and Xbox. It was kind of like simultaneous when they did it. <laughs> And that was a pretty, it was a pretty big deal, man. You know, I mean, and the thing is, is the reason why it was a big deal is because that's like one of the first major releases of the year that's coming, that's hitting Game Pass day and date. Mm-hmm. Is this going to set a, tra- a precedent in the future for these types of things? Who knows? Depends, you know, on the developers. It depends on the trajectory of the game, the analytics, how much money Microsoft is willing to pay, you know, to to get these games on. But this gives this game another life because uh you know i think like they i don't know if uh, how close or how fast this this process was in the works for i don't know if it was in the works like during the demo or after the demo i can't imagine it was that fast but it helps out too because i don't know if they had as many people as they wanted to to actually play the demo last time i saw it it was like two million people or some shit um and for me at least you know for somebody like me who was uh, this is for this was a good move for people like me who were on the fence about the game, because if I was going to get this, it would have depended on you guys, right? If you guys bought the game and you guys wanted to play the game, I would have played it. I would have bought it and I would have played it. But for me to get it, to play it on my own, I probably was not going to. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's not a knock on the game itself, right? Like, I mean, it's just, I, I, I feel like it's like gears of war in a sense, you know, from the shooting mechanics, but just gears is just better. Mm -hmm. You know I mean? So, but it does things that are different. It does things that are cool, you know, with the looting the mechanics and then the classes of the characters that you can that you can choose. And again, uh, we don't have I haven't played the final game, so I can't tell you like what it's going to be like. And I'm sure it's going to be awesome. But with that being said, for somebody like me who was still on the fence about it and now I have no fucking reason not to play the game. I have no reason not to download the game. And this only helps out the developers, you know, to just increase that 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 player count even more than they were anticipating so i don't want you know i'm not going to get into the semantics of it you know it's just obviously it's all speculation we're not fucking economists here but um it's uh i i think this was a huge move is it going to set us some sort of precedent for the future who knows you know um i think it's going to be if these types of games keep coming if, if if xbox keeps getting these types of games to come day and date you know and then on top of that you know, 
it's still coming out for a full 60 bucks on the PlayStation side. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. and no people, it's not free on Game Pass. I'm fucking sick of hearing that and seeing that on Twitter. It's free. You're not playing it for free on Game Pass. Wait, you it's are not? still subscribe. I know. I know. <laughs> what? what? Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> Explain it to me. Shocking. Elaborate. Dude, I can't stand it when I see people writing like, oh, you can play it for free on Game Pass. No, you're paying $15 a month. You're not. It's not free. But I see how it looks, you right. know, <laughs> included with my subscription. Like, oh, okay, well, okay, House of man. Cards is included with my Netflix subscription. Yeah. So. so it's free. Yeah, so it's free. In essence, it's free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, man. I, I, I think it's, I think it's awesome. I think it's big. I think it's a big move, and uh, I think it's going to, again. If it does, if this is something that developers are going to get on board with in the future, this is just part of the whole comp competitive thing that we've been seeing, you know, that, 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 that shift that we're slowly starting to see and, and expand that we were talking about last week, because dude, I mean, this is like a jugular type of move, you know, I mean, and on top of that, then you got the other big, you got, I mean, you got a, you got Halo Infinite. Obviously, that's not only going on Game Pass, but it's also going free to play for the people that don't have Game Pass. You know, I mean, so yeah, if, if Microsoft, Microsoft is keeps, bringing that big dongle energy, yeah, they right? are, man. They're bringing mm -hmm. that big dongle energy, one hundred percent. Yeah, they you are. Know? So, damn, dude. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be awesome. But Jordan, what do you think, dude? Uh, of, uh, you know, I, I, I know you were kind of on the fence about, about Outriders, but what do you think yeah. of this move? And take off yeah. your ambassador glasses, bud, and give bud. it to me. <laughs> well, oh, well, wow. well, now, <laughs> now I'm I'm really excited about it, mostly just because you know I want people can fly to get more exposure out there. I love the talent that they have. They know how to make a shooter that feels good. Um, the demo kind of underwhelmed me a bit, but I'm definitely going to give the game a chance now that it's coming to Game Pass first day. Um, Oh, don't forget, we have, we have to give credit to Hassan because he knew it was coming to Game Pass before anybody else. He did. Um, aside from that, though, my only question is how long will it be on Game Pass for? Um, but yes, I hope this does set a precedence for, for, for other developers to release major titles day and date um, on the subscription service. It's, it's a fantastic deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, man. It is. So anyway, yeah. Oh, oh wow! The glasses came back on. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Kevin, yeah, Kevin, what do you think about this move, man? Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of bothered by the glasses on and off thing. So give me. <laughs> um, no, man, it's a power fucking move, dude. It yeah. was, it, it's ballsy. It's a brand new game, day one, coming to Game Pass. It's not a, you know, a Microsoft Studio. So they're definitely flexing. And I was on the fence about the game, but at this point, you know, I'm definitely gonna play it. And I think more people, you know, their player base will benefit from it. And I think people will be like, hey, you know, I with the, what is it, a 10% discount or whatever that they get, uh, they, they might be like, oh, you know, I need more than three months or two yeah. months or however long I'll fucking buy it. You know, by, mm -hmm. by then it'll be on fucking sale too. It'll be $39.99, you know. So anyway, it, I, I think it's a win-win because I don't know that they had based on the demo, based on that player base, uh, you know, I just don't think they had enough there. And, uh, you know, nobody wants a game to fail. So, you know, I, I'm i fucking excited for it. I think it's a good move for the devs. I think it's a great pickup for Game Pass. Mm -hmm. Mike, what about you, man? How about you? You're, you, you're recent... You know the, the the reborn game passer, dude. I'm <laughs> I was spoiled. I mean, it's dude. Like spoiled. besides everything that's <laughs> been going on, you know, with with all of these discoveries that you've been seeing on Game Pass, how is this coming you at you right now? You're like, oh, dude. Oh. That shit was like the golden coin in the bucket or whatever. I don't even know if that's a saying, but it's like, <laughs> mm, it's money, dude. For me, okay. So for me personally, as like a fan and a gamer. It's like it is saving me the 60 bucks because I was going to get it on PlayStation. The Game Pass deal is so good that I'm denying my other PlayStation buddies to play with them because they're like, I played the demo with them and they're like, yo, you no, fucking Outriders. And I'm like, nah, son, not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox on that game. 
yeah. and he's like oh okay whatever and i'm just like dude you should get an xbox you should get an xbox halo bro halo you know trying to run that game with him but uh yeah to me as a fan like it makes me feel spoiled it's awesome uh, depending on how long it is on there, I do feel like I'll play it enough to get like my fill of, out of it before it leaves. And on that other hand, too, I think the publisher is Square Enix, I believe. I don't know exactly how they yeah. run all that stuff because the developer is obviously somebody different. You know what I'm saying? But I do mm-hmm. want I do want to know, like, what was the driving force d- to make that decision? Day one we're, game pass. We're never going to know. Like, what do they benefit? What could they benefit from it? I know this, like, yeah, I get that conversation might not go anywhere exactly, but like, what if because it's just, it's not like a micro transaction written game. No, there is, there is an ending to it. There is an end game to it, but it still ends though. You can only get like a certain amount of like these exotic loots. You understand what I'm saying? There's a lot. That game is very meaty, bro. I mean, yeah. uh, you should, you know, the, during the Square Enix disaster thing that they gave us the other day, uh-huh. um, they showed a lot of uh, they showed a lot of, uh, of of outriders on it, and man, it is pretty fucking yeah. deep. It is deep. It, it's a lot deeper there, than I I'm thought. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure the grind is there. This is going to be a type, a similar type of thing that we're going to see with Gotham Knights when it releases, mm-hmm. even though mm-hmm. it was delayed, whatever. But it's like maybe these games that give you that that grind and that end game but they always but they are completed like they're they finish i mean you know maybe we we start to see more of that like godfall shit like that but with outriders come to game pass it makes me curious to think like why i didn't know that those same people made judgment either so i thought that was cool too it feels like chunky like that like when you're going (laughs) they got the division the division point at the cover mm-hmm. and just like press the a button or whatever. And it goes there like, which I like too. So it's like, I liked it, man. I like the demo. So I thought it was fun. Not a lot of enemies though, but I'm going to be <laughs> playing. The, I'm going to be playing it the first day for sure. For nice sure. man. Oh yeah. yeah. So I thought that was, uh, you know, that, that was a pretty big deal uh, for, for the day. I mean, I had everybody talking and again, like, I, I, if it's something that's going to start happening, you know, more frequently, at least like with these, it's a good idea, you know, to get the, the look me personally. I don't know if this would, if this, if this would have happened, if let's just say, let's just say they had 10 million people playing, playing their demo, right. Or they had, you know, even more <laughs> than that. I, I, I don't know if this was something that they would have done, you know, but at the same time, still, this is a big release hitting game pass and um, damn dude. We're in for a freaking we're, we're in for a hell of a year because we still because there's still things that they haven't announced yet that are still coming, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Playgirl about to be up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's 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 gonna be awesome uh, to see. And then on top of that, man, they didn't stop there, right? Like they 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 talked about they they talked about that. Then they announced FPS boost, which is slowly gonna be rolled out for all these games. And then the the first five games is Dishonored and Skyrim Special Edition, Fallout Four, Fallout seventy six, and Prey. And I think it's amazing, you know, that uh, how much how much life the, this FPS boost has given uh, has given uh, that uh, these games, these older games, right? Because I've seen Prey talked about more in the past week than I have seen it being talked about since its release. <laughs> Fuck and yeah, is, you have. And this is coming from somebody who, who has not played the game, right? Like, I mean, I, I will tell you, Ainsley's been talking about it and preaching about it for a long time. I know, uh, you know, I, I know Jordan has as well. I know Jordan's loved the game. Yeah. So there are people who you know that really love the game and have spoken highly of it. But as far as like, in the amount that we've seen it now, no, right? But at the same time, the it's good. Not the, These types of moves are not good just for the people that have played the games from before, but people like me who have not played it, right? So, like, I loaded Prey, I installed it, I fired it up, right? And I got to see it in all its glory, and it's freaking amazing. It, it plays amazing, it looks amazing, and um, this is what it is, man, you know, for the because you, you get these haters that say... Well, these are old games. Like, why does it matter? <laughs> you know, like, no, it, it, it does matter, right? And if we're really going to be balanced here about about games that are 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 
enhanced or are brought uh, or are fixed if you want to say or improved for the current gen consoles all right look how much shit i sang about god of war when it was enhanced for the ps5 right for anybody that sang about that and for anybody that said like this is the version that you should play this is how it was meant to be played right this is the it's an old game mo yeah it's a fucking it's old, old game, game. <laughs> Just... <laughs> it's old game but that's the thing right like i mean it breathe it breathes new life into these games and especially what if you've played it you get to you, you if you've played it you get to appreciate it more right for for the improvements that they've made for it and if you haven't played it from before then god damn that's a that's a great time to jump in right like look at look at resident evil 7 for instance i was just talking about me playing it what about if i played it at launch when it was in 30 frames per second you know compared to sure yeah i would have had a great time with it like a lot of people did and and whatnot but dude it looks amazing right like i just feel like yeah this is the way it's meant to be played how the hell can i how could i have played it in in 30 fps or whatever it is but this is something that's amazing and i hope they keep taking advantage of it and i and i hope to keep this is just one of the things man another another one of those things you know what doom killer i like you bro i really really like you but <laughs> You just done fucked up right now, man. <laughs> got to, we need dude. an intervention, right? man. That's like, fucked got up. To I'm just Rec kidding. Dude. Highly recommend you, it. I know. I know. You're not the only person I like that hasn't played God of War. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jordan. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Jordan. Yeah, 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 Jordan's yeah, 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 like, Jordan. <laughs> 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 you're looking down. I'm like, you did a full 180. <laughs> <laughs> good shit right there. <laughs> oh, that was good, dude. He looked directly behind yeah. him. That was good. That was good. You sold that one. You sold that one. That was great. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So these are the types of moves that we should keep cheering. These are the kinds of moves that we should always keep pushing for. You know, and this is preservation, mm -hmm. game preservation. We've it been is, talking it about is. it with Xbox. So go, go ahead, come and, and, Well, no, no, I just wanted to chime in real quick, man. The the F FPS boost is you know a cute word for uncapped frame rate, but. Yeah, I mean, where don't be a, where don't, don't be a fucking buzzkill, man. Listen, 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 listen. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it, it's amazing because these games, there, there's no real new and old games, right? There's there's fucking good games and shitty games, and if the game is good, it's only going to be better with these enhancements. And uh, just playing Prey, uh, I felt like I moved down a difficulty level because the difference between trying to hit a mimic at 30 frames a second versus at 60 is night and day. I mean, the combat just feels better. So these good games actually play better and I think are going to be a better experience for people coming in fresh or people that are replaying it. Um, so, you know, FPS boost is is a big deal. And I, I, and I heard <laughs> something about, about how it's... Uh, it's they don't have to change the code it's just uh it's just uh, uh the, like a trigger for that that library title or whatever um so it should be really easy to do and uh you know it should be uh we should be seeing a whole lot more of boosted games mm -hmm. yeah absolutely I'm, man i'm i'm excited for it yeah uh, again no. because it, i i just love what they're doing to we keep talking about game preservation, old game preservation and, 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 and playing it. And look at me the other day, I started playing ghost recon future soldier. Right. And then I'm like, uh, maybe they'll boost it. Who knows? You know, since it's all being done on a hardware level, but again, it's cool. It's good that we, we at least get to get to experience these Jordan. What do you got, man? What do you think of this? I know you're loving this right now. I am. I am, man. Um, Kevin, you brought up a good point. Cause yeah, the game does seem much easier to tackle now because of the it is boost. like i remember kind of like you know you're trying to smack these things you're just like mm -hmm. moving super slow at them now but the game just feels incredible at 60 frames and and i fired up um skyrim again my brother got me to reinstall that game which i haven't played since the 360 days and it really legitimately does look really nice in 60 frames um yeah i i think it's just it's it's some some kind of cool magic trick that they're doing now to kind of keep all these games um, <laughs> it is magic mm -hmm. i guess it's just, <laughs> just just modern but 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 yeah i i, I love uh uncapped frame rate <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> uncapped frame rate nice man. I, I always look at it like, like this is yeah, that <clears throat> there's always going to be potential for new gamers <clears throat> And you still see people playing like old school games. Doesn't matter the graphics. Like some of that, sh that to me personally, graphics don't really, they're not a really big deal. I'll play new old games, whatever. As long as it has that flow that I get from controller to screen. If it can give me that, man, I'll play anything, you know. 
But I do believe that there was a lesson learned from the past generation consoles, probably the PS4, Xbox One, where people are asking like, yo, why isn't this backwards compatible? Why can't I do this? Why can't I play my PlayStation 3 games on PS4? And maybe they saw that there and they were like, whoa, okay. So there's like a whole different thing that like we need to do for gamers because video games in their own right are like timeless in a sense, you know, immortal, whatever, as long as you got the console, as long as you got the disc or, or, you know, the server to run it or whatever, you know, you're always going to have some type of like, uh, you know, world to jump into or whatever. I think this is good. <clears throat> and I think it kind of rolls over into like, you know, with the whole, and I know we'll talk about it later with about like the upgrades themselves, from mm -hmm. like the different consoles and stuff like it is an important thing i think it makes video games lifespan like you were saying it gives them that little bit of juice you know that little bit of lifespan where it's like you know that gamer that picks up an xbox or whatever tomorrow they're gonna hear about this bethesda run of like these series of games and then they'll start to notice like their favorite like movie i like mm -hmm. the movies that do this i like the directors that you know direct movies like this so i like games that you know, play and, you know, are made like this. So like I said, man, updating anything that's old into the new, I think is always going to be good, particularly for video games, maybe not other media or what have you, but I think particularly yeah. for video games from here on out, I can start to see like, they're going to like prepare for this here on out with their line of games all the way. Right. Right. And if they're done, I feel like, yeah, it's a little, they're losing something there. Uh, it, it seems like they're just starting, you know, they're, they're, they're really, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Man. Yeah. I don't know how deep they're going to go into the library, but it seems like <laughs> this is something that they're really being praised for. So I can only imagine they're just going to, man, by the end of the year, we're going to be seeing a lot of games that are going to have, that are going to have this enabled. So yeah, man, good for them. Honestly, yes. game preservation. This is just an, an, another notch in their belt, to be honest with you. And then, you know, on top of that, we keep saying, you know, Game Pass, it's on fire, all these announcements besides everything that we've just talked about. And then and then they announced that Undertale, Yakuza 6, and Octopath Traveler. Octopath Ooh. fucking Traveler. I'm about that. And and the thing is, is Octopath Traveler, the way that they announced it, it was just in an it was just in a post, right? Like, I mean, you I would have I remember when I saw it in the Game Pass post, I was like, wait, what? A lot of people just did a double take because previously that was exclusive on the Switch. It's a Square Enix game, and that was exclusive on the Switch. And then it was obviously brought to PC, but now it's brought to the Xbox. And Undertale is one of those indie darlings. It's got a huge following. I mean, that was a, that was another great uh, that was another great ad. And then on top of that, now you have Yakuza Six. You can play the entire Kiryu series now on the Xbox. Yakuza 0 to Yakuza 6. I think the Yakuza 6 exclusivity deal with, with PlayStation is done, and that's why it just came now to Game Pass. But now, barring uh, Like a Dragon, which is a brand new series or a brand new entry in the series, now you can play all of the previous Yakuza games. It's incredible, man. It's just it's incredible to see all that. And I hope that people keep playing these games and they keep supporting them. right? But, uh, but on top of that, man, just fuck. They just keep adding and adding and adding, and I, I and, and and it's becoming like a joke now, where people are like, "Whoa, slow down! I don't have time." But it really is, right? You can everybody come saying Xbox has no games. Well, I mean, what do you do now? Now it's just fucking raining on top of you. So it's a great problem to have. This is like probably one of the best first world problems I've ever seen. By the way, you know, um, so good for them, man. You know, good for them, and we're only in March, and well, they're still unannounced games. We still don't know what's coming, but, dude, it's amazing. It's really amazing. I don't know how they pulled Octopath Traveler. And honestly, for, for, for the other day, I saw some people saying, you know, I saw somebody on Twitter, like a couple of people echoed his statements, you know, about, about Square Enix uh, snubbing Xbox, right? I don't know how. I don't know how, you know, where I just said, you know, Octopath Traveler and Outriders coming day one to Game Pass or Octopath Traveler coming to Game Pass. And then the Final Fantasy 60 or the Final Fantasy games that are coming to Game Pass. We all know money is involved. We all know marketing deals are involved. Yes, they're going to continue to have those marketing deals with Sony. It is. It's just the, it's a fact of the matter. And that's not going to change. 
But to say that they're being of snubbed, on, uh, you know, like, <laughs> no, man, I, I, I don't agree with that at all. I think the support is good, and I think uh, it'll continue to be that way. Uh, Kevin, what about you, man? What about? Uh, I'm sorry. Well, what the yeah, hell whatever. are we talking about? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Jordan's paying attention, and you're not. So I'll go to Jordan first. <laughs> Jordan, what do you think of these additions, dude? <laughs> I, I think it's cool, man. I um I have not played Undertale, but I know it does have a massive kind of a, a cult following with the soundtrack, and I guess in terms of the 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 uh, I don't even know what I'm saying now at this point. Jesus Christ, <laughs> man! You look bad. so good not saying it though. It's bad. Well, thank you, Kevin. You are no, um, I haven't played Octopath Traveler, but I have heard good things about it, so I'm excited for it. Honestly. It, it's gotten to a point where if it's like if it's coming to game pass i'm gonna at least play it <laughs> once and just mm -hmm. just try it out so yeah man that's all i really have to say about that oh yeah and tell uh, me what Kevin. undertale is undertale yes yeah, so well i watched the trailer game it's I'm, uh it's like an eight I've... it's an eight bit type of type of game okay, uh, i think okay. it's a side scroller it's got a like a cult following i have Fuck it, I probably will play it going in not liking it, and then I'll, I'll finish it like three days later without showering. That's how I go about <laughs> these things. Um, no, I'm excited to, to try games. If nothing else, it'll give me an opportunity to try it and, you know, uh, not waste money on it if I didn't like it. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, Game Pass, if, mm -hmm. if nothing else, is a great demoing service. You know, it's a great rental service. And uh, I've been thinking about Octopath Traveler, but I just, I, I'm a been on the fence it's just probably something i'm not gonna like but if it surprises me you know maybe i'll pick it up because it's gonna take me seven years to finish so um yeah i'll probably end up buying it if i actually get sucked yeah. into it so um but it's exciting to see just the the diversity that game pass brings to you you know it's not just it's a discovery service and i've always uh, said that to people like if you want to branch out and play shit that you normally wouldn't play pick up game pass because it has a ton of different kinds of games and uh there's shit on there that i would have never touched with a 10 foot pole uh mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what jordan's doing <laughs> so mike oh mike mike yes mike get game pass <laughs> uh, well, he he actually octopath traveler have you not have you guys not played it and is mm -mm. that why you guys are like i don't know Haven't because it, it was a switch exclusive for for the longest time and then it went to pc just recently okay. but like it just it came out of nowhere right? i like played it came some out of, of it have you really I played some of it and it's wow. really fucking good no this shit. is why it's good this is why it's good <laughs> this is why dude this is why i say i'm spoiled bro like i couldn't talk shit about games <laughs> If I tried right now, because it's so good. Because hey, I'm a consumer. What are you? What are you gonna do for me? I'm not like busting my ass in the studios. Shit, you know <laughs> what I mean. I don't have to deal with fucking fans like coming at me about. Oh, I don't like this about this game. Like, oh, whatever, bro. Sorry, I'm in that world a lot. Like on my downtime, I don't like that either. But anyways, spoiled. Octopath Travel. If you like, <clears throat> like JRPGs, I guess, but super fast paced. The combat is turn-based, but it's not like, okay, take your turn. Like, let me figure my shit out. Like, no, they'll still, like, attack you. It's that time-based, like Final Fantasy VII, which mm -hmm. in turn, it's like, if you're not thinking and picking it correctly, like, the moves and the setup, how you want to do it, like, they're still going to attack you. And you got to uh, strategically manage your magic attacks and, you know, your life bar and stuff. And it's really adult, too. Like I, I, like, they're like, Oh, you, you know, you whore, like get the hell out of this town before I like, you know, steal so, all your shit. Because one, one of the, eight whore. Well, yeah, because, because one of the eight characters that you play as is a, like a, a street dancer girl. Ooh, you know what I mean? A street like, dancer girl. Yeah. She's like in a brothel or some shit. I don't fucking yeah, nice, know. Nice, nice, nice. I love horrors. So I think <laughs> I think I'll love this game. And so, but like the combat is good. Like one of the bosses, he was like sitting in a big chair with like all his minions around him, like fighting you. So you had to fight the three minions first, and then you could finally attack the guy like on the chair or whatever. It's super old school, but the storytelling, man, like I guess that's what like really gravitated to me because I was like, whoa, this is adult. It's really deep. And the combat was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. So mm -hmm. yeah, game pass is on fire and i'm loving every single minute of it man like you to know, me i can't play enough honestly 
I want to play Skyrim and shit again. Like all those Bethesda games, I really want to play that. But like, you know, but they're all like chunky ass games. And so it's just like, man, dude, like I still need to play Halo 5. That's a great great problem. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean, dude. It's a great problem. You know, Diego, uh, Diego said something earlier. Um, I was telling you in the fucking private chat to highlight it, but dude, like it's, (laughs) you know, when you're in the zone, you can't multitask, dude. And I don't blame you, but he actually said, um, you know, because game pass is doing so well, are we expecting it to hit like plateau at some point, you know, with, with Mm. all these games and I don't expect them to, I don't because I think they're focusing on because of their heavy focus on it right now to drive up the subscription base and they have to keep coming with these types of games, right? Like, I mean, if you're going for the jugular for this generation and your bread and butter is the service and you're trying to maximize as many subscriptions as possible, I don't see the slowing down anytime soon. And I don't think this is going to be the, you know, the, 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 I don't want to say the last of it, obviously it's not, but I don't expect them to slow down at all. I expect to see a lot more, you know, <laughs> a, a lot more, uh, uh, you know, games of, of, of this caliber, at least, or at least more surprises for the rest of the year. At least that's, that's, that's what I think, you know, because the, the, they're definitely going to keep trying to bring people over. Right. And the more they keep doing this, the more that it's working, you know, again, we were just talking about outriders day one on game pass and it's already made a stink because on your, on your account, on your, your, comp- your competition supporters of your competition have to pay $60 to, to buy the game. So that itself is, yeah, that's, that's one of those situations. You know, that's one of those situations we were talking about. That was honestly my argument for, are they going to bring Bethesda games or not? You know, like, yeah, look, Ains just said that it's only getting started two years from now. This period will look like, uh, oh, absolutely. It what will. what is right. the average time a game that is super affiliated with Xbox? What's the average time it stays on Game Pass? Mode? Like, you know, because it rotates so often or I, I don't know exactly how it works. Like, how does it work exactly? Question. I don't know the exact. Uh, yeah. I don't know the exact amount. I'm hoping maybe somebody could uh, could tell us in the chat. But I know some games they, they they stay on for like three months, six months. I know The Witcher Three was on there for a while. Okay. It was on there for a long time. It was just taken off a little while ago too. I think it was on there for maybe a year, uh, at least a year, right, guys? Mm-hmm. Or, uh, I wonder what the benefit is from these studios. I mean, just the word of mouth, I guess, gets it well, out there. Well, here's the thing, right? The Witcher Three was already incredibly successful by the time that it was that it, that it came to Game Pass, right? So, and it just kept selling. You know, it, it, it kept true. It, yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. it was selling everywhere. Well, PC, Game Pass, PlayStation. It doesn't matter. Fuck, even Switch, right? I mean, even people on Switch <laughs> were buying it. <laughs> yes. So, exactly. No, I mean, uh, awesome. yeah, but but that was still a. That was an amazing that was an amazing addition as well you know i mean to to, to get something like that that was like when yeah so asa yeah. just said it you know loads of variety so really seems to be case by case and he's right uh, as far as like exact timing i don't know obviously that's that's all contractual but yes yeah, so witcher 3 came off because enhanced edition is about to come out ah that's this... cool you know another uh, enhanced edition that go. we were talking about mo that i i wanted to mention earlier when we were talking about like frame boost and stuff batman mm-hmm. i know we saw something about that man mm-hmm. and man that game i've seen that game played on like some high-end pc and i was just in like in awe because on the console dudes it's got so much like motion blur in the back when you like pan the camera and it's shit it's straight shit and i love that game it's only good when you're inside the buildings or whatever but anyways that's just another game i wanted to mention before mm-hmm. we move on. yeah yeah no no man yeah absolutely so yeah i i i think this is just amazing dude it's uh the, you know and I, I don't expect them to let off to let their foot off the gas anytime soon. They know right now they're making a lot of noise. They know right now that they're starting those conversations. This is how those conversations start, you know, and uh, you know, about which what to go with. What do I do? What to go with? And, you know, do I do this or do I do that? So and that's what they want at the end of the day. It's all the bait, man, and the bait is gonna keep coming. And then um, you know, to kind of to kind of cap off the 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 week that Xbox has had, then they announce uh, the the idea Xbox event on March 26, and this is really an event that's going to feature more than 100 games from indie developers, and those games are going to include you know games like uh, uh, what what were they saying? It was uh, I don't even know if, if Stalker 2 is even considered uh, indie. I don't think it is. You know, even though th- that was mentioned in their post. But Stalker 2 is going to be there. And then obviously there's going to be games from um, uh, Devolver, you know. Uh, so 
100 games, man. 100 games next week. We're going to see even more. And for Damn. me, I, I, I love indie games too. This so is that indie was, stuff though, yeah? Yeah, this is indie stuff, but still. Okay. You know, I mean, right, yeah, there's, I'm there's, tracking there's, a, there's some amazing indie games that are that are out there for people that you know that that, that, that don't really play them. So this yeah, is just true. another thing. You know, They were kind of like, oh, hey, by the way, March 26, we got another event coming out. You know, it's, uh, but 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 that's all about indie games. So, yeah, that was they had a hell of a week. They had an incredible week, and uh, yeah, man, indies, indies are. At, I I don't know what it is that they're going to show. Obviously, you know, but uh, I'm I'm looking forward to that. I know Damn. Song of Iron. I'm expecting Song of Iron to make another appearance. Okay. You know, remember Joe? We had him on. Um, yeah. So Jordan, man, what do you think of all this, dude? No, it's Fucking super exciting. Information overload, baby. Super, yeah, yeah right. I I gotta be honest. I did not watch the um that trailer for the uh, for the ID event. Um, but I'm most likely just looking forward to see. You know, I'm gonna watch it when 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 they start to really start announce um all the titles. Like I love everything De Devolver Digital puts out. So whatever whatever they have in store, I'm sure it's gonna be gonna be freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, I just I I'm I'm a fan of indie games just as much as you are, Mo, and um. You know, it's just I, I like how Xbox always kind of kind of tries to showcase indie devs, yes, because um, they're kind of the ones that are always taking the risks and bringing us you know unique experiences. So, more of it, please. Yes, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. So, Kevin, where are you at with all this? I've I you know I enjoy uh, some indie content. I used to make fun of indie games, um, but I, then Asshole. I started playing. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Uh -huh. Then I started playing some of them, and I am a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but I do enjoy some of them. So um, I think I think minimizing you know the risk and um, increasing exposure is helpful to these indie devs because they have a lot to lose um, when their games you know don't fare well. So I like that there's a stage for them and that Microsoft really pumps you know the the yeah. indie game mm -hmm. to to everyone. And I think Game Pass is awesome place to you know launch launch your indie game so yeah so yeah, yeah not, only are, to it. not only are they showing 100 games but they said they're debuting new trailers and gameplay for more than 25 games including second extinction which is that uh dinosaur fucking hunting game that you that you play with people which looks amazing actually it looks fun as hell and uh they also said uh, the ascent which looks awesome Wild at Heart, XO One, an update on Stalker Two, and then there's other, obviously, other stuff that they're going to show. So, uh, Mike, are you an indie guy, man? Have I kind of sort of not really like kind of sort of not really, so not really, yeah. So yeah, what do you think well, about I mean, <laughs> I will, like, I will, but I just find those games like not exactly hitting all the ideas that I want. Like, I like side scroller games. I like the fast combat. I, there's a lot of like those kind of games that really surprise me when it comes to that stuff. But to me, no, I guess, you know, but I'd be willing to, I guess I should say what interests me most about this little ordeal is that I try to put myself in one of the hundred developers, like small time developers and like mm -hmm. kind of prepping for this day and being like, dudes, like we got to get that fucking bug out. You know, that is such kind of like what Kevin said, man, it's like a really good space. Like I can only imagine with those new developers, you know, because with these new developers now, those might like be a small seed that springs and grows into something big, mm, like 15 years from now, maybe, or what, uh -huh. what have you. And then, uh -huh. you know, my son can play a game like, Oh yeah. Like I remember those two, those, like when I was young, those, they were a small studio, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So, you know, that's good. And it opens up the space. It opens up the space for new people, new ideas, fresh and new ideas are always great, except for right. when they're fresh and they're like shitty, which is what most <laughs> indie games are to me. <laughs> so whenever you said that, Kevin, I was like, <laughs> I was like, dude, I know what you mean, bro. Like, I don't, I know I'm, not a good person. You're but. a hater. You're a hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I yeah. am always willing to try just about anything. That's good but shit, yeah. man. Yeah, you should play cool. some more fucking indies, Mike. I know. Right, well, well, okay. Is Shadow Pons. is Shadow Complex an indie game? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Played it. Yeah, played it. it was made. It was epic, right, was Jordan? Epic. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but is that indie? So that. I played. I know I have played some indie games. Uh, I've played this one where, uh, yeah. oh man, you're like in hell and it's super hard. It's a side scroller game, um, from hell I think it's called actually, or something like that. And it's like 
eight bit you have a sword dude i've played a bunch of like side because i like side scrolling games Mm -hmm. you know like ori in the blind forest type of shit you know what i mean uh what's that dead cells or whatever is that an indie game that's an indie yeah yeah Uh, yeah. right 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 i love that kind of shit what is uh salt and sanctuary that's indie. Oh, that's an indie. Yeah. 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 I played all those. Okay. I so like you that. have. Uh, yeah. 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 But I just yeah. like, there's a thing about him where it's just like, I'm looking for Mega Man X4, bro. And I'm not getting that a lot. And so it's like, you can tell that it's like, not the experience that I want, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking like high combat. You know, your character has the ability to do a bunch of different things. And I don't mean like, oh, my guy can shoot forward. Diagonal it up. Like, no, man. (laughs) 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 Whatever. I appreciate him is all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, (laughs) I've played him. I just they offer one that I'm just like they, they offer dude. a nice uh they offer a yeah. nice flavor man honestly there's a yeah. lot of different variety and they're really really good in between all of the AAA that is true. Uh, sensory that overload is that we get so I'm um, looking forward to see what they show and like uh like Jordan mentioned earlier Jordan it's good to see that they actually came back to to the the the, the indie developers right mm-hmm. because last generation they got away from that initially yeah. you know it used to be the 360 you know, on the 360, they were all about indies, you know, and then shit, man. I remember Miss Explosion, man. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Explosion, man, and Miss Explosion, man. Those games. were some of my favorite fucking indies back fucking in the great. day on the 360. Yeah. So they kind of got away from that last gen, and then it kind of like switched over to Sony. You know, Sony started embracing the indie developers, and then they made, uh, you know, um, uh, events and and really started uh, to, to showcase their stuff more, and now it's kind of like switching back again. So... Yeah, man, they, they they know what hits. That's that, that that's how you know they're they're on top of their shit. They know exactly what they're doing and how to reverse the old bullshit that uh, that ended up happening from before. So another great you look, one. You look at movies too. You look at indie movies as well. Like I know I was talking shit earlier, but a lot of good stuff has come out of like that field as well. So I think yeah. he feels guilty now. You I kind of do on. because I have played so I didn't realize I've played so many of them, you know. But like I always just like it's oh, okay. Oh, like oh, you're like. a liar. You're just a liar and a hater. <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> I get great, <laughs> <up>, baby. <laughs> so yeah, well, on top of that, so Xbox has all this, you know, all all these big announcements, and then Sony starts. With their own announcements, and hold they on, actually... hold on, hold on, Mo. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I gotta ask you something. What is Sony do? What is Sony doing in response of all this Xbox great? They thing? have to respond. What's the response? <laughs> they <laughs> must the respond. My seat about this. You know, you know what, dude? They actually did. They, they they had a good fucking week, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. They they really had a good fucking week, and and really it started. Okay, so the first thing that was announced was Jade Raymond. Okay, I'm not going to shit on her parade, but uh, Jade Raymond formed a new studio. She called it Haven. They're calling it. She's calling it Haven. It's Montreal based, and uh, she's and her and her new studio are working on an original new IP for PlayStation. So she actually announced that, like, you know, with PlayStation, like simultaneously. It's not a PlayStation first party studio, but they are making a game for PlayStation. Seems like to, it seems to be an exclusive, so we're probably not going to see it. it's like 2024, 2025, and that's assuming <laughs> that her studio doesn't close down before then, you know. But, um, yeah, so yeah, guys, I love Jade Raymond, but yeah, she's so talented, uh, she's so talented, <laughs> you know, just phenomenal work after Assassin's Creed. I mean, oof, I mean, damn. I can't, I can't stop saying, that. I know, her. I know, I know, she's awesome. I think, look, man, as much shit as I give her, I just think she's had really shitty rolls of the dice. So, you know, uh, you know, b- between going to EA and then coming to Google and, and, and whatnot. So she hasn't shipped a game in a long time. She herself, she hasn't shipped a game in a long time, but it's good to see her up. I, you know, I mean, look, whatever's going to happen. I do wish her luck with whatever it is that she does. But, you know, this whole thing about like this obsession with bringing her over and, and whatever. I mean, we talked about this a couple months ago when it was first announced or when Stadia said that they're shutting down their first party developers. We were like, well, why the <laughs> fuck is everybody just suddenly in love with Jade Raymond? Like, what is she? You know, you guys know, man, that's how this industry is. It, it's just like sports. It's not what have you done for me before. It's what are you doing for me now? That's why you, guys, you, that's why you got guys like David Jaffe and fucking Cliff Blazinski that are just sitting down doing jack shit. Blazinski is retired, but still, you know, I mean, nobody's fucking calling him. 
nobody's you know nobody's nobody's asking him to get on a project but my whole point is just like that's why like it's it's good to see that at least she still has the legs to be able to start a studio and sign a deal with sony so i really do wish her luck with that but as far as like her pedigree i think her pedigree stopped after assassin's creed 2 assassin's creed revelations whatever it is so good luck to her okay i'm not a hater good luck to her but um to address so then the rest of it then sony um sony then went into their uh their their play at home 2021 so they updated it and if you guys know the play at home 2021 they said that throughout the year uh they're going to be announcing more and more games that are free to own so this is not tied to your ps plus subscription or anything these are free to own games really free these are like really really free these are not are hey free? it's free on game pass <laughs> or hey it's free with ps plus no no these are free no it's subscriptions I no hands tied playstation 4 that's not free <laughs> you know what man <laughs> nobody's nobody's in the mood for that garbage okay <laughs> these are fucking free uh so uh they actually uh, and and the games that they announced uh are really they're 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 fantastic so they announced abzu enter the gungeon which is a which is an awesome uh indie title yep. res infinite which is great i played res infinite i played abzu subnautica which is excellent the witness which is made by jonathan blow if anybody knows uh, he was the creator of uh what was it Braid. help me out here Braid. yes yeah so the witness is a puzzle game it's got its fans i didn't like it too much but a lot of people really like it it's a really really it really tests you you know in terms of puzzle solving and creativity Astrobot Rescue Mission. I'm still going. Astrobot Rescue Mission. That's probably the best game on the PSVR, uh, at least in my opinion. I know Asa. He's in the chat. If he's still here, Asa's big on uh, on uh, on VR gaming. But for the games that I played on PSVR, I think if you took out Astrobot and you plugged in Mario, I think this game would have fucking sold millions. That's how good that game was. It took it. It did VR gaming so well. And the way it was so clever in its design, and now they're giving it for free, right? And then on top of that, you got Paper Beast, which is another indie coming out, and they rounded it out with Horizon Zero Dawn. And Horizon Zero Dawn, you're not getting the base version, you're getting the full version with the DLC, right? With the story what? DLCs. Yeah, dude, yeah, yes. <laughs> All 10, <laughs> all 10. So if people wanted a fucking response, I mean, here what it is. A response? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was just about to say. Like, yes. Yeah. Like, like it's, I, I don't feel oh like God. that's being, I don't feel like that's being talked about enough, man. Cause these are some fucking bangers in there. Obviously they're not all triple A, but Jesus Christ, that's a lot of great games that they included yeah. in there. Yep. So, um, yeah, man, that is, you know, they, they announced that and I think this is great. And I don't believe Sony is going to make a, a competition to game pass at least uh at least a comp at least a service of their own that's going to be like game pass i think what sony is going to do i think they're so far behind game pass in terms of infrastructure and just the service itself and how xbox has provided it they know that whatever they do now okay it's just going to be if it is let's just say it is it's going to be in its infancy right it's going to be in its infancy and you just can't compete in that space right now so instead of competing in that space they're going to try to do things differently and i think this is the type of shit that they're going to keep doing i think they're going to keep doing giving out games like this and i think they're going to keep making their ps plus games fantastic as they've been almost oh, every single month when you compare the ps plus games releases uh compared to like gold gold gold's releases for the most part are garbage let's not lie to each other you know what I mean? But compared to PS Plus, PS Plus has been fantastic with those. So I think from that perspective, that they're going to keep pushing that. If they do make some type of Game Pass service, I'll be surprised. I mean, the PS Plus collection that they have is technically like that, you know, because it's basically the biggest bangers on the PS4. Yeah, but the they're available for them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are. And you can download them to the console and you can play them. You know, they're not streamed. So in a sense, yeah, maybe they'll keep adding to that. Maybe that'll be something that they'll that they'll keep working on and whatever. But I don't think they're gonna make it like their bread and butter, you know, like game. Uh, for instance, like Game Pass. I think they're just gonna keep adding these games and 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 just making it more worthwhile for people to subscribe to PS Plus because between those and the and the PS Plus games that you're getting every month and now these free fucking games that you don't even need a subs subscription for, this is a great. This is a nice response. 
this is an uh, this is an excellent response that I don't feel like is being talked about enough. But Jordan, you're an Xbox guy, but looking at this from your from your perspective, what did you think honestly of this uh, of at least of at least these announcements that they made? Yeah, no, that that's a great list of games. Like, in the, and I I know you mentioned it. But Enter the Gungeon. That's like one of my favorite indie games ever made. Like, it's it's a cool little roguelike game, and you know, it, yeah, it's like. 20 bucks but you, you can sink so many hours into that game there's just so much to do in it um but yeah then aside from that though like i said like like you even mentioned abzu the witness uh witness is eh. but but horizon zero dawn is a great is a great freebie to give to give to give its uh player base um yeah man i just think it's a it's a it's a great value yeah yeah what about you, Kevin? Where you at with this, man? I'm fucking hyped for Paper Beast, man. Oh my Paper god, Paper Beast! Paper Beast. Oh, yeah. the response. Yes! Paper Beast. <laughs> oh my god, the day has come! Um, no, 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 no. In all, in, in all seriousness, the worst thing PlayStation can do is try to copy and respond they do not right. need to respond leaders do not respond you know mm -hmm. uh, that's a that's a noob move so i think what they're doing here is doing what they do best giving people great games to play and right. i think that's smart and uh you know it kind of reminds me of um of uh i i tweeted something about uh intel responding to mac and, and how amateurish that sounds. So the way to invoke fear is to over respond, right? Is to, they don't need that. They don't need that. They have that pedigree. We know games are coming. Um, give people more shit to play and stay on that platform and spend more money with you. And that's, uh, I think that's a smart business move. Um, uh, having never gone to college, um, you know, I, 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 I'm gonna say take that with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What about you, Mike? Where are you at with this? Uh, to me, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty crazy. The Horizon Zero Dawn thing got me kind of out of the blue. I have played Abzu, and these games are good. Uh, I like As much as I'm on PlayStation, I didn't really know too much about this, nor was I really looking forward to it, you know what I'm saying. But uh, there's a few games on there that, like I said, like a bunch of this stuff where it's like this free, these like freebie kind of things, like really really speaks to the i only got the console and i'm new to this realm and i got the console in one game and i played enough of that game to feel good about it but now i'm kind of ready to expand my library and now i'm going to these freebies all right you know if i bought the playstation and i bought like whatever batman with it and it's like i got enough of that Let's try this Horizon Zero Dawn game. Yo, you know what? I like like PlayStation games, or I like whatever's going on here and stuff like that. That's that's what it screams to me. It sets up the new customer. It, you know, it gives them it gives them the little like hot cocoa and the blanket and all the shit. You know what I mean? Whatever you, whatever you enter this, you know, whatever theme park they're wanting want you to be in or whatever. So, I like it. I think those games are worthy. The response is ridiculous. What a it's response! <laughs> what a response! response. How will Sony respond? <laughs> I love how these people just think like these guys just sit around that they're like, "Oh, yeah. we gotta yeah. respond." Dude, yeah. what are they doing? Like, yeah. as if like these things <laughs> haven't been <laughs> planned, right? It's like everything is on a fucking whim. Oh, they got Outriders. We gotta give away Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have to. Oh my God! What is this? <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. We have to give it away. <laughs> they got they got, they got sirens here. and shit going off. Claxons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm telling you, man. I swear to God. Like, oh my God! Respond. How are they gonna respond? <laughs> yeah, man. But they, uh, and I, I, I think they'll keep doing what they're doing, and it's working. And then, um, you know, on top of that, too. They also show details on their uh, next gen uh, VR, <laughs> the, the the PlayStation Five VR. They showed the so we already know that they announced that a new one is coming, but they showed the controllers, <laughs> and the uh, the controllers are actually pretty fucking. I, I think they're pretty cool, man, and I think they're really serious this time with it even more. If the PS VR, the first iteration was a beta, then this one, they're, I mean, you know, we already know that it's going to have one cord only. You know, and then they showed the controllers and the controllers themselves. They have adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, finger touch detection, a tracking ring for the headset, action buttons. And then the developers are receiving these prototypes soon. 
And I don't want to dive into VR too much, but uh, they are nice. They look like the ones from the HTC Vive, uh, the, 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 the the controllers, you know, the, the, they kind of like wrap around your hands. Bro, and, this uh, is some uh, Tom Cruise uh, minority yeah, report. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they look really, they look really sleek, man. Honestly, and I think this is a much better way of of uh, of of doing the motion controlled stuff instead of the fucking PS Move. The PS Move were respectable, but at the same time, like they're old, you know. So they had to adapt, and obviously, they're they're bringing these in. So. Uh, Honestly, man, the the only thing I could say, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm still gonna get the VR unit because I am a degenerate and I do want to try it and I, and I, I like to see where they're going with it. And even if it's niche at this point, they're they're supporting it. So if they sold what six million PSVR units or whatever it is to them, you know, uh, yeah. even though they sold like what, 120, 130 million PS4 consoles, and now the PS5s are fucking selling like hotcakes too. They figure like, okay, there's definitely a market for this. They're they're not going by the way of the PSP or the PS Vita. They're making a pretty nice push for it. So, I I I appreciate it honestly. I like to see this, and uh, even though I'm not a big VR gamer, fuck, I wish Asa was still here. Uh, I know he would have been responding in the uh, in the chat about it because he's a big VR gamer. But uh, yeah, man, this is cool. Uh, Jordan. I don't know if you're a VR gamer or not. I don't think you care about VR, but, uh, you know, uh, hey, you know, just adjusting your glasses and shit. Yeah. Oh, so... dude, you just took off your glasses. You know, how many <laughs> fucking, you know how many people got pregnant in the chat right now, dude? Okay, oh, my okay. God. Keep Where's calm. Diego? Keep calm. <laughs> Keep calm. No, I, I, you're right. You're right. I'm not, I'm not the biggest VR gamer. I've, I've only played a handful of VR games on my buddy's Vive years ago. Um I think it's some cool tech, though. Uh, you're right, though. It is very niche. <laughs> but it's like, oh, God, I can't even keep this straight. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> I can't. I can't. He feels violated. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Oh, this is amazing, dude. This is great. Oh, God, God. You guys. Yeah. Wow. You guys. Um, yeah, so, go ahead, uh, Kevin. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Yeah, I'm excited. Man. I'm excited. I was busy Googling finger finger touch, finger <laughs> f fingering touch. Anyway, yeah. it, it sounds amazing. It's way better than the move. They basically took the move and just uh, you know, jerry rigged it to work with the fucking PSVR anyway. So I'm glad that they took the time to actually make a make a legit, you know, controller for it. Yeah, it does look like my Oculus uh you know, quest controllers. Uh, so no, I think this is good, man. Um, I will probably buy this one because I think the PS five has enough horsepower to actually, you know, pump out some decent VR games. And, um, uh, hopefully, uh, my indie game, uh, Jordan gets everyone pregnant will be released yes. on the PS5 <laughs> yes. VR. Yes. <laughs> Virtual reality pregnancy. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike, what do you think of the new controllers? For Yo, the, they look the wicked cool. I'll tell you that. I feel like it's maybe one of the steps that they're going to take to where it kind of makes a little bit more mainstream-ish because it's sexier looking and they got it kind of, you know, they can like implement it with the PS5 more. You know what I'm saying? Like the look is going to go a long way. I know we were talking about like the battery or the like how the visuals went in last podcast we were talking something about like all the wires and all that kind of stuff like yeah. i want to try this shit whenever it's super mainstream you know because like you said mo that that audience for it is there mm -hmm. but it's not there when it comes to like 700 dollars. i think how much are they oh it's hell no oh no 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 it won't like the the psvr was like 300 bucks at launch like i mean they okay. still have to make it yeah they have to make it Remember, it's coming out for console. Yeah. You're not buying it for like a beefy right. ass PC. Yeah. You know, where, where you get 4K in each eye. So they still have to make it um, cost friendly to a mm. certain extent. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those though. Looks cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. So then Sony, the last thing that they, this was uh, awesome actually. So Project Athea, nobody really knew anything about it other than the fact that it was an exclusive with Square Enix timed exclusive whatever the hell it is uh but uh they actually announced that it's coming to the ps5 in 2022 and the actual name now instead of project athea is called forspoken 
And if you looked at uh, the gameplay, they showed like a very quick uh, snippet of some gameplay. And I think it looks awesome. And I, you can tell they're not going for a Final Fantasy vibe with it because the girl who's the, prota the protagonist, she sees a dragon and she's like, oh my God, is that a fucking dragon? And I'm like, oh, they're going for as for something edgy right now. I like yeah. this, right? It's not just... It's not, you know, it, it it's it doesn't give you that 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 typical JRPG vibe, you know, that you get from Square Enix, you know, with their with their Final Fantasy games and whatnot. It seems like they're going for a different take on it, for a different spin. And on top of that, the gameplay looks so smooth and so awesome. It's third person, but her movement, like I keep, yeah. I keep, I keep looping that five second gif of her movement across the cliffs and the desert and in, in the forest. And oh my god, it's fantastic. And that's all they showed. That's all they showed. We haven't seen combat. We haven't seen anything. We just saw her movement. But I'm I'm on board, man. You know, just give me something that small to just get me interested. I'm on board to see where they go with it. And uh, Forspoken is a nice name instead of Project Athea. Sounds a little fucking generic, you know. But um, Jordan, what do you think of uh, Forspoken? I'm sure you saw that uh, that yeah that, that, that little teaser. Yeah, just like you said, I was the first thing that caught my eye was just the traversal. It's just the animations are incredible. Like I just yes. can't even explain how is this person moving in this space, but it just looks fantastic. Um, I, I'm bummed about the two-year exclusivity, obviously, but but it looks like a cool freaking game. And like I said, we haven't seen a whole lot of it, but again, just just that clip of it, I'm, I'm, my interest has already peaked. Yeah, on top of that, too, you know, dragons. I mean, one can assume if yeah. they're showing it in the trailer, yeah, you're probably going to fight these big ass <laughs> monsters, mythical beings, whatever the hell they are. But we don't know where they're going with it. I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and yeah. speculate on it. But still, yeah. all I got from it was they're doing something different. Yeah. Square is doing something different with this formula. And I think it looks, and, and, and I, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. And it's coming out in 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin, what'd you think of this? I'm excited. Um, I saw I saw the gameplay. Uh, uh, well, the jumping, I guess, the traversal, <laughs> and uh, and I'll, I'll I'll pick this shit up, dude. Dragons and that and sold. you know, sold, dude. And I, it's coming out for PC at the same time, I believe. So it's really, be, yes, I yes, it's, right it's not. Yeah, it's not oh, just so the PS5. It's not exclusive to the PS5. <laughs> it is. It is not. I had I had uh, somebody oh, correct God, somebody else. And, hilarious. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, so, okay. Yep. Okay. Well, that's good, man. That's good. PC yeah, players yeah. will get it. That's awesome. But mm -hmm. at the same, so it's console exclusive. It's not exclusive. It is. Exclusive. It is. Okay. okay. So, you know, yeah. So, so go, go suck a million dicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you mm -hmm. want to, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get a fucking band because of you. Mike, <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Mike, what about what did you see with Forspoken, man? What did you think of it? Uh, so when I first initially saw it, I thought it was a really cool, you know, I thought it was cool. We saw it together. We talked about it when we first released. The dragon looks dope, okay? First of things first, man, that fucking name. What the hell does that even mean? Forspoken. Forspoken? I liked Project Athea way better. Did Forspoken. you? I said the opposite. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. Forspoken. The fuck is Project Athea, man? What is know. that? Come I on. Know. Four spoke uh, seven years ago. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, but yeah, anyways, the name. Um, yeah, it looks cool. Now, the traversal thing, when I saw the GIF, I was like a little worried because games where you can move really fast in an open world, it seems very light to me. The character doesn't have that like Heaviness. impact. Yeah, you know what I mean? And you could still like you could still pull it off. And still feel heavy and speed, you know, you could still pull it off good. But when I first saw it, I was like, that seems like she's like gliding across. What's that uh, across? What's that one game where they're like shooting the arrows and you're like sliding on your fucking knees? Oh, uh, that's that PS5 game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking pathless, about? Super pathless? Yeah. Yes. The pathless. Yeah, I was yeah. looking at the you back know, to see if I can read yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got those vibes at first, but like watching it, like in the actual trailer and stuff, those looked like more of a montage of snip together uh, traversal mechanics. Not so much like you're going to be bounding constantly. You know what I'm saying? Because I they're doing it each time the environment changes and she's doing one big like movement. So I, it's, I don't think it's like, you're going to be like bounding and that's how you're going to be traveling like that, where yeah. you're just like long strides and stuff. I think that's like a one, two, three kind of like we're traversing up a hill or up a, uh, 
like a cliff face or something. You know what I mean? And so like looking at it more, I was like, okay, I kind of see that weight in that character. I know she has the magic with the roots and other things. It seems like as well, you know, uh, who is the developer on this again? <clears throat> uh square enix but i i don't know the which developer which internal developer but I know oh, okay oh wow they're, I'm, I'm assuming they're publishing and developing at the same time so okay that's crazy that mm -hmm. is cool yeah most so like i kind of gravitate a little bit more what you said like i like how they're doing something a little different a little edgier it's not so like rpg japanese i guess if you want to say or whatever mm -hmm. so yeah i like it and yes yes this is a this is a must for sure mm -hmm. yeah absolutely man so that was uh that was how they capped off their week and I, I again you know i'd say look yeah xbox had a great week and then sony had a great week as well so they right. each had a great week in their own week or in their, in their own week in their own way so uh yeah dude it's sure. just god we got a lot of shit to play that is very very fucking that that is an under that, that is very very <laughs> that's an understatement too so um and then let's see to touch on it uh because jordan you and i because we both love the tiger the the golf game yeah so apparently tiger woods signed a contract with uh 2k sports uh to be he signed a long-term contract uh to, with 2k sports to be featured in their future games so we can assume that he's going to be in 2k 21 and uh this is amazing I was so happy about it. I was, yeah. I loved it. And on top of that, his likeness obviously is going to be, and I hope they fucking make us, I hope they let us play with the golfers, with the actual licensed golfers from yeah. PGA, you know, from the PGA. But uh, I was really happy to see it <laughs> because we've talked about it before. You know, I was a huge fan of the Tiger Woods golf games, the ones that EA sports made. And then I, uh, you know, once Rory McIlroy's goofy ass came on the cover, I just kind of like just phased out and I was like, eh, whatever, I don't really care anymore. And then I got back into it this year, and I've been playing with you guys. And uh, they even bought the developer of yep. the game, which is awesome. So now we know that as good as 2K21 was, 2K22 is going to be better with Tiger Woods' likeness and now yeah. more money from a mega publisher being given to the studio to put more money into the game and more resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, 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 I love this dude. Like I can't wait to see him on yeah. the cover of another golf game again. I yeah. swear to God, uh, it, it just made me really happy. And uh, what did you think about that news? <laughs> I, I was yeah, excited, man. Yeah, man, I'm I'm stoked about it because just like you, like I said, I I played Tiger Woods PGA Tour back on the original Xbox many years ago, and I yeah, it was arcadey, but it was so much fun. So and the, the, even the news about 2K buying the studio, hopefully they can like funnel in a ton of money to kind of really make it, uh, just a real, just just kind of a I guess a a more visually appealing experience because like you know the game is kind of bare bones as it is as, as it looks it's more sound in the mechanics of golf which i love but um but yeah you see the other the other sports games that 2k puts out like imagine it looks like if it looks like that you know that would be incredible right right so so yeah just give me more golf and then on top of that too <laughs> you know we were talking about with uh once they put rory mcelroy on the cover yeah. you know yeah. they saw that their sales dipped so bad it's amazing man you know, it's amazing what what, uh, what what just taking the name off or yeah. at least taking the likeness off of a game will do yeah. to sales itself. So now 2K is just like, shit, this is this is a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. So they kind of like buried any chance that EA ever had of even reviving their golfing franchise yeah. if they were even intending to. So now I guess like they're the new kings of that. That's that's great. And Kevin, I know you don't play those boring ass golf games, but you know. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh my bad, my bad. Just, sorry, just, sorry. Just tap it in. Um, <laughs> yeah, I need a preview, bud. Yeah. Um, tap it in. <laughs> no, no, I. You know, dude, dude. I played. I I've played golf games before. Um. I'd be willing to give a golf game another shot. It's it's one of those games that is just easy to play, and uh, and I think doesn't get enough recognition. But the last golf game I played was actually on the PC, so and it's been like ten years. Um, so uh, you know I'm excited to see Tiger Woods back back at uh, yeah hell it, yeah man. You know oh, yeah. even if he's uh, he's got no legs now, it's fine. 
So. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> what? Hey. What? No, I let's mean. Calm uh, down, man. Let's calm okay. down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. Let's let's calm. <laughs> let's let's don't, don't I didn't even. I down. didn't it's even tig- say a dick. It's, tig- it's Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I know you were. You, God, you I were was being, being good. Yeah, you were being good. Sorry, that, no. That's, and that's your version. Sorry, of you. I'll take it. Sorry, and, uh, no. The name of the studio, as Hassan said in the group chat, is uh, Luminous Production. Yeah, so yeah. The, the, they ended for up buying For Project Athea? No, okay. for uh, for the golf game, for, oh, for the PGA okay. Tour. Okay. So, nice. yeah, that was that was cool to see. Uh, Mike, do I even, do I even I dare mean, ask dude, you anything about golf? golf <laughs> I was going to make a lot of, like, uh, jokes about his, like, little getting pulled over or whatever, but... Uh, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I know about Tiger Woods a lot. I've like watched a few documentaries on him, and like I understand what he is. He's like the Michael fucking Jordan of golf, basically, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and I appreciate that. That's funny that you said that thing about the other guy, Mo, and the sales dipping and stuff. It's like I bet sports games has like this whole other realm that they deal with whenever it comes to how they pitch certain things. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But uh, yeah, Tiger Woods, dude. I psh, Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Woods, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bringing it back, like, baby. Uh, yeah, and I like so, golf games too. Like, I don't really play them, but I appreciate like the uh, mental thing that it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, so that's uh, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Word. Um, the other thing that happened. Uh, so everybody was kind of uh, you know, over the past few months, everyone's been wondering what happened with Dying Light too. We haven't heard anything from the developers from Techland. Obviously, there was all these stupid rumors about Microsoft buying Techland. Techland is in trouble. They're having internal development issues, which they probably are. You know, I'm not I'm not discrediting that, but there was just a lot of rumors flying around. So the other day, uh, Techland put out a a uh, video with the developers, kind of like uh, addressing some of the, the 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 funny rumors or some of the funny tweets that, oh, that were cool. out there. You know about them. And they just basically said that, look, guys, we're working on the game. We haven't shown anything yet because we are just working hard on the game. And uh, we feel like we'll show it to you when it's ready, which I respect. And they said that there's actually going to be a uh, they're going to show it soon. They're going to show it at an event. Uh, Oh, sweet. Apparently, they're going to have like a reveal for it that's coming up. So some people took it as a, you know, as like a hype piece for an announcement you know whereas you know because they were just like well why are you letting us know that you're still working on the game and you're just giving us like a like a small tease why not just blow it all out and say hey we've been working on this for over a year now and this is what we have to show you know so um i see both points you know but i I mean i'm of the mindset i'm of the mindset from uh, with that approach it's just like okay they wanted to have a little bit of fun with it. They wanted to let you know, you know, that like, hey, we're still serious about it. This game is, is heading towards uh, towards the, the goal that we want. And I think everybody's fucking shook from CD Projekt Red and the way that they handled Cyberpunk. And I think everybody from now on, any major AAA game that people have high expectations for, this is what we're going to expect from now on. I think that we're going to expect very, very little updates in between. Okay, like I'm talking like Sony-like updates, like where it's just like, hey, we're going to show you it when we're fucking ready to show you it, you know, not, you know, mm-hmm. not developer diaries or any of that bullshit. <laughs> and I think that's, what's going to happen There's now, because, people. because if you're going to release your game in an, in an unfinished state, especially in this day and age where the fucking wrath of hell will get oh, rained down on you, you as we've seen. So I, I, I think this is a good approach. And for them, it's just, you know, they're, they're just coming out to let us know, Hey, we're still here. We exist. We're working on the game. It's not canceled. Could they have done it all? Sure, that's fine. But maybe it is to build up hype too. Maybe it is also to build up hype for the eventual reveal that they're going to show soon. I'm okay with that, man. It's just I'm not okay with building up hype because as we've seen and as we've talked about it before, building up too much hype nowadays it ends up fucking backfiring. You know, so you can be hyped for something, of course. You know, I mean, uh, everyone has every right to be, you know, but I, I think with the recent developments that we've had over the past couple of years, whether it's Anthem, Fallout 76, uh, uh, Cyberpunk, whatever it is, yeah. I think people just need to be more trepidatious, you know, uh, when they're, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Uh, we, let we, me Google we that. Be, one. Yeah, I'm not going to put that, I'm not going to put that whole fucking, 
I have to I have to utilize that medical uh, <laughs> that, that some big words. Somehow. Yeah. We have to utilize it somehow. But uh Jordan, what did you think of what did you think of the reveal or at least like of them coming out? Did you think yeah, it was no. pointless or trepidatious? Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no. Wow. No, for, for real. Uh I thought it was kind of cool. Like you you're right. They were having fun with that. That was kind of a cute idea to them to read off all these like angry tweets about where the hell is my game. <laughs> And I think also it's probably they kind of recognize everyone got like almost nauseous when they saw that big block of yellow text. Like, oh, fuck, what is this cyberpunk update going to say now? Because every developer now you have this big tweet with a post that says, like, just like Gotham Knights, we're going to get we're gonna delayed, we're going to get delayed. But it's cool. They, they let you know. You, you saw a face. You see them all talking. You know they're working on their project and they're passionate about it. And they're going to make it happen. And, I, and I'm super excited about Dying Light, too. Um, I just want that game to come out as much as the next guy does. So, yeah. Um, yeah yeah uh quick correction i'm sorry uh so luminous production was actually the developer of project athea mike it's for not the spoken, best. Mo, for oh, i'm spoken. sorry for spoken. well say. you said you don't like for spoken yeah, so i said yeah. project I athea just, god damn it i'm oh. going to your boat bro i'm just trying you know i'm going over there I'm with you guys. That's, that's what it was my bad hassan thanks for the for, thanks for the heads up baby i appreciate you anyway yeah so you you were on board, Jordan. You you liked it oh, basically. Totally, thought totally. It was, I thought yeah. it was. I thought it was cool. It was fun. Yeah, and they and they confirmed the game's coming out in twenty twenty one. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Exactly. So that was nice too. Yeah. What do you think, Kevin? What did you? I'm think excited, of- man. Day one for me. I'm a I'm okay. a um, I'm a fan. Uh, I played Dying Light on the tremendously disappointing X. Box one originally um it was uh it was a Ooh, fucking know, screen tear 25 I what, fps i don't know what the xbox one is i kind of just like garbage <laughs> game at the time but <laughs> i know i know i know and i what? dude and I, I i finished it so that that yeah. that that says something yeah. and then um uh, I was a huge Dead Island fan too, so um, you know I, I played most of those. I think I missed one of the offshoot DLCs, uh, but uh, but I think Techland's like a pretty uh, solid dev, and I hope they that are, they make it through, and I hope they get good sales. And uh, uh, I will be picking up whatever, maybe even whatever collector's edition will come out. Um, and I don't oh, pick yeah. up too too many of those, but I love they, me some zombies. They showed so. one man. There was yeah. one that leaked a couple months Ooh. ago. It's fucking nice. Okay. It's nice. All right. I, I don't know if that should be coming stateside. I'm I, I'm excited for this game. And the reason why is because I jumped into Dying Light late. And I jumped into Dying Light because of Mike. So we started Dying Light during right after the COVID outbreak. When I moved out. Perfect and, time. Uh, yeah, when I had moved <laughs> out away from my family. And I was working and whatnot. And at that time, him and I started Dying Light together. And we were planning the podcast, right? Like that's, uh, we were just like fucking playing the game and we were planning the podcast as it was. So for me, like, honestly, like that, that kind of like, Mike, I love you, man. Yeah. But <laughs> so for me, like that itself, just that experience itself really, uh, really just made me excited to see, uh, you know, to see this and to see the, the part two coming out. So yeah, man, that's awesome. Mike, what do you think, dude? Dude, I'm in love with Dying Light, the game. It was one of my first PlayStation 4 games that I like really picked up. And and it was a scary game that I wasn't, uh, you know, but I like persevered. And man, that game is just so good. To me, that game is one of the games where it was like, man, they made some really good stuff in the beginning of, of that cycle or, you know, for the PlayStation 4. You had the multiplayer campaign. You had a versus multiplayer, you know, where you like went mm-hmm. against your buddies and other zombies or whatever. Mm-hmm. They had a nighttime, daytime cycle. Like there's a lot of stuff to this game that was just the idea sounds basic, but they executed it, you know, with shooting stars, man. And like when you hit a zombie and he slow mows, boo. Like I specifically remember like hearing Mo be like, oh, the slow mo. Like, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. It's so cool. You know, and like it has all the gore that I want. Uh, so they announced it, you know, it's going to be released this um, year. They also announced that they're going to have like factions in the game. So, you know, so I want to say like almost think division two, like in that extent. So they said that the campaign was going to be 15 to 20 hours. Uh The first time you play through it, you might see about half of the game. And then there's like all bunch of like, I guess the open world, the side stuff, you know, the, the multiplayer stuff or whatever. 
And the the first game, it's still like at least it had an update where you know it supported shit was changing with it, and they were like updating it and changing it, uh, like shit, like a month at the most ago. So it's like they're probably still working on the first game, but at the same time working on the, on the second game. It does sound like with all these delays that it might be quite extensive, and it might have like all the all the shebangs. You know, the versus mode, the like campaign mode where it's like all good with your buddies, grinding maybe a little bit like with your factions or whatever. Like, yo, let's do that daily, or you know, let's do that like one event that this game that that's where that game shined a lot for me, and it was one of those games where I didn't understand that video games were that big or that could be that big in a sense and have all these different things. And so dying light to me is like one of those staple games that, that screams next gen to me. And it's the best version of zombies I've ever seen. Oh, ever, wow. Yeah. Okay. Ever seen okay. in a game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice man. I'm there. Yeah. Baby. The only thing I didn't like about the first was, uh, was, uh, the fetch quests. I know that's the standard with, uh, with open world games. That was, yes. It's, 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 it's an artificial way one. to get you out into the world and to see yeah. the world that they've created. And I understand that, you know, but I just want less, uh, I just want less, you know, oh, you want this? Go get me these three spark plugs from this yeah. tower and come back. Yeah. You know, like I want less exactly. shit like that and more creativity with yeah. with the quests themselves. And I think you know, then uh, that's honestly that was my biggest gripe with it. Yeah. They have uh, a thirty minute video of very very good gameplay. Uh, mm -hmm. It sets you up. You start in a bar. You get like to kind of meet some characters or whatever. There's a uh, dialogue choice thing that they're running system that they're running. And then it goes into like some parkour and zombie stuff. And I'm telling you right now, man, I watched it. I don't know. Like I, I like texted y'all about it. Like, oh man, this fucking trailer is insane, guys. You got to check it out. But man, like when you watch it, you're like, whoa, they did it a lot different from the first game. And, you know, I hope they delay it. Like, and they, they do it in a timely manner, you know, where it keeps the fans like happy. And it's still like, you know, it's not like in December, <laughs> hopefully. So, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. This game is going to be awesome. This game is going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. That's uh, the, a lot of people are looking forward to that. And I'm Hell honestly yeah. glad that they did that. Confirming 2021, they're still going to show the game. And uh, they're letting us know that it's alive and well and kicking. So good for yeah. them. Uh, Talk about this know, game makes me want to play the first game because yeah. it looks that good. Yeah. Yeah. Same here, Absolutely. Mike. <laughs> really? Yeah, Jordan, for yeah. real. I know. Uh, so we got a couple more topics left. Uh, the real quick, the only thing I wanted to mention is Gotham Knights. I know some of us were looking forward to it. I know you were too, Mike. Uh, Gotham Knights got delayed to 2022. Uh, I'm not surprised, uh, as I've said yeah. before. I don't, I don't really give coming. a shit about. Yeah, I don't care about delays. You know, make the game better. I'll wait. I don't give a fuck. You know, as we just said, we had a lot. We have a lot to play as it is. But uh, you know, um, this is not going to be the first uh, big came you know as we yeah been seeing i recently. think this is where that pandemic hits a little bit where that yes. is like tried and true no doubt about it you know mm -hmm. where it's like because avengers kind of has that bit too where it's like oh well all these other games got released like what the fuck is going on with this but now we're seeing a bunch of other games getting delayed and Dude, everything you know, you know everything's you like, getting like, delayed into 2022 right so mm -hmm. if you see that cycle on when the pandemic hit compared yeah. to what games were coming out. I mean, sh dude, to be honest, like the whole console launch was yeah. like, it's, it's surprising that it even got to the point that it is right now. I mean, and as successful as it's been, despite the bots and exactly. you know, the, 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 the availability, I get that part, right. You know, yeah. production uh, limitations and whatnot, but mm -hmm. for them to be this successful gaming you know, will never fail, game. dude. Yeah, so man. many people are doing it so much. Like there's so much in, in the, in the mix, man. It's like burning all the time. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be burning. It's great. Yeah. It's like dark souls. <laughs> yeah. So Gotham Knights delayed to 2022. I'd ask Jordan and Kevin, but I don't think yeah. there's really anything. Yeah. There's really not right. much. Cause I, I'd rather yeah, have, yeah. um, so Mike, uh, I know, I know, I know you're gonna get poetic about Avengers, and I, I, I don't want you to get too poetic, you know. I got you, I, yeah. Because I know, I, I know you've given your piece on it, but <laughs> there's been a sudden surge in it. Right? There's been a sudden surge in interest for the game, and apparently, you know, now they just released the PS5 and the Series X upgrades, 4K, 60 FPS. Uh, see, you know, uh, the, with like textures and performance and whatnot. And I, my confusion is. Is that only for the campaign 
or is it for the online portion as well? Because, I, or is it for the whole game in general? I, I'm, I'm kind of confused here. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit once I get to you. But the thing is, is even for me, I remember I told you when the game came out, I'm like, look, man, I played the, I played the initial part on the, on the Golden Gate Bridge, and then I put it down. Once I knew that they were going to upgrade it, I told you at that time, I'll get back to the game once they do. Yeah. And I am going to take off that fucking plastic crap off the game finally. For yeah, the here we go, like, baby. Fuck like, yeah. I'm going to install it, but for me, mostly, I'm I'm mostly interested in the campaign. If I'm going to play a co-op with you guys, I'm probably going to, and probably with you, because you know the game like the back of your hand, mm -hmm. right? So you would be the ideal person to play that with. But a sudden surge in interest in the game is actually good for it, and that's also comes with what we were talking about about enhancing games and uh, providing yes. the boost and the things that people are looking for, especially with the new consoles. People like me who have been waiting to, to, to play on something that can actually handle it better. So um, I think this is good. Uh, I, I, you know, I mean, I, I hope they continue to improve the game. I do think at some point, I think when they, the add on that they did for the grinding, uh, when they made the grinding a longer process, I think they're priming the game to either be on game pass or PS plus or um, free to play. That's that's still my opinion. Even though the prices themselves, you still won't get that game under 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks, which is amazing. You know, because even though the game has gotten shit on, you know, and even though that, you know, we know Square Enix lost a lot of money on the game, they continue to work on it. And if they continue to work on it, that means the Avengers name itself is still selling this game. Right? The at least my that that's my take. I think if a game just absolutely shat the bed and it was completely fucking useless, there's no way they'd be putting this much effort into new characters and new oh, and new environments and all these enhancements and whatever. Like they're definitely not going the mm -hmm. way of Anthem. So this is awesome. This is great. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get into it. And Mike, you're a fucking OG for being <laughs> Probably the only person that has stuck with the game since day one. Maybe Doom Killer <laughs> as well in here. If he yeah, is, yeah. If he's still in here. But yeah, man, this is awesome. Um, but Jordan, what do you think of this? Uh, does this have you interested at all in playing the game now? No, it, it does. Honestly, the enhancements coming out, um, I I was waiting for it before I before I even wanted to to get into it because I I. I um, I, I, I knew from the get-go I wasn't going to get it right right off the bat. Um, and just like you mentioned earlier, I kind of had a sneaking suspicion that it would probably come to, to Game Pass at some point. So I'm, I'm kind of banking on that still happening. It just it just seems like the kind of game that would do well on it because like, and they're mm -hmm. adding all these uh, progression or leveling systems that just kind of play into the whole theme of a, of a game as a service. Right, right. Um, but yeah, next gen stuff is is is. Uh, should I keep saying next gen, current gen? <laughs> but, yeah, I, I keep uh, that, <laughs> dude, it blows my mind. But no, I um, if it if it if it drops more in price or if it comes to service, I'll play the hell out of it with you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What about you, Kev? You interested? Fuck yeah, in dude. It? I just picked hey. it up. I just picked it up. Oh, you and, did? Uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss, yeah, no yeah, way. Yeah. Good shit. I picked man. it up. I installed it. Um, I think it was on sale at New Egg for like twenty six ninety nine. I mean, why See? the hell not? See, and, I'm telling right. you, it all will right. not go it's, below right. twenty. <laughs> yeah, no, it won't. It won't. Um, it, I think Game uh, GameFly had it used for below twenty, but that's physical too. So, right. um, but uh, I think it's a perfect candidate I, for Game Pass. The devs mm -hmm. have said that they're not priming it for free to play, but. Okay. Game, Game Pass is not free to play, and then they can rake in on microtransactions. You yes. know, so yes. I I think I think it would be good for the game. Um, I I'm still worried about longevity. Um, you know, on on PC, um, it, the player base is kind of sad. Um, and yeah, know, and and that does worry me. Um, but uh, but this might breathe you know some life into it, and maybe they're already in talks to get it on Game Pass, and that would be fantastic, dude. Because the game, the game isn't terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. Once you get past um, you know the fact that uh, you know I think the character models threw people off initially, um, but I played through the 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 very first part of that single player campaign, and it was fucking good. It was uh -huh. good. The story uh -huh. was good, cool. uh, and the characters were relatable, and 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 they sound like they should, and they may not look like they should, but they sound like they should, and uh, and I think uh, I think 
this kind of shit is good for games. These next gen upgrades, these uh, Game Pass, you know, um, um, uh, stints that mm-hmm. that they'll have um, just to breathe some life into these games. And uh, hopefully, we don't have another anthem. Like you said, they they have a roadmap. Yeah, um, and, I was and, just about and, to mention that. Yeah, and, and it looks good. Yeah, the roadmap looks good. Um, I think people were complaining that there was no Spider Man on the roadmap uh, fuck so, about spider-man uh, right now man i know i know i know but that, i mean that was really the only complaint i saw um and uh i'm excited for the future of it and if nothing else maybe it's a lessons learned and they can pump some of this into you know a next avengers game of some sort you know because i'm sure there's a lot of lessons learned from this release mm-hmm. mike I'm I'm trying to keep it pretty short, but yeah, I'm liking, you know, the 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 revitalization of this game because it needs it. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? This game still needs a little bit of that, that that you know that that fire, that end game content, a little bit of these chunks of expansions that it needs to really be a game where people want to pick it up like Destiny every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The next gen enhancement is good. You can replay the campaign now. So to to kind of hit on the game pass thing, Mo, I'm not really sure. I do agree with you guys where it's like it is it, it would do good on Game Pass. But would they do it though? I don't know. There's an article with Scott Amos. He's like one of the head dudes at Crystal Dynamics over there. And mm-hmm. he is like the plan and the schedule, or not the schedule, but like the plan and how we want to do this game, like we're sticking to that plan 100%. Mm-hmm. So, and that is you pay the initial 60 or $80. And this is literally, I'm paraphrasing a tad, but this is how we said it. You pay the initial buy-in fee to our theme park. After that, if you want the theme park to mm-hmm. be a little bit cooler with the skins and stuff, sure. you can pay for those. Right. But at all times, we will be expanding that theme park for free. Okay. And okay. we're just okay. going to keep, and we have no plans as of this article was released yesterday from IGN. They interviewed Scott Amos sure. yeah. and he said that we have no plans on doing a uh, basically breaking on like what we planned initially. Right. Okay. But with all that coming through, there's a lot of questions to be raised with this roadmap from a fan who has been paying attention to this game that whole Black Panther bit, when he's coming out, that'll be a big topic of discussion. Spider-Man will also oh, yeah. be a big topic of discussion. But with the good things that come with this next-gen update, there are also very many other questionable things that come along with all this new information, the roadmap and all that stuff. But right now, if I was saying, like Kevin, for you, like, hey, if you want to pick it up and you played, you want to play the campaign, no doubt about it, you'll probably have a good time with the campaign. Get mm-hmm. your characters up there. You're not going to level them up all the way, so you won't know like or have all their moves, but you will enjoy the story. You will enjoy the beats that it has, and it's a good time. You won't probably start to feel like that character like where you're like, wow, man, I'm just like using Iron Man's arsenal to like lay waste to many enemies right. Right. much later into the game. So they want you to kind of like do that grind. That XP thing could be a iffy thing people still have hawkeye on level 50 right now he just released yesterday he was Jesus, like i got man. the main <laughs> like one of the bigger Damn. guys who plays and streams the game Fucking he was nuts. like I, I leveled him up in about four hours to level 50 jesus like hitting it hard i guess and i'm like okay that sounds about right you know what i mean so yeah i'm liking the next gen upgrade like i don't have the next gen or whatever but i like like what it does to the game and you know if it's got you interested in it mo you know that's a good thing you know that's a really good thing for a guy who like hasn't really seen end game and shit like that and it's got your attention i think that says something you know what i mean so you know but with the good it does come the bad you got to kind of comb through it a little bit yeah. and you got to you know figure it out a little bit but so yeah l- let me ask you so, so is the campaign co-op i think or it is can it, or, be no but yeah. well, that's what i'm asking you because like I can play with it because I, I I'd like to play the campaign right like I mean that's what I'm gonna do first I was wondering like I mean yeah is it more enjoyable in co-op like is the grindy aspect part of the campaign or is like the multiplayer a completely separate yes deal yes. so it's a completely separate deal yeah like you okay. will still level up your characters in the campaign and by the end of it they'll be like each character will be like fifteen to twenty to yeah. twenty five levels and then after that like the story still continues but it's more for like 
your friends and multiplayer gotcha. stuff. Okay. Yeah, there's like some missions are like only single player, and then you get some other missions that like oh you may be able to invite sure. a friend or whatever. But I gotcha. yeah, it is definitely a separate thing. You know, okay. like yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, man, Avengers. Let's do it, baby. Assemble. Um. Okay. Uh. The last topic. Uh. Fuck. We're already uh, almost. We're already at the two hour mark. But uh, oh, yeah, I'll, baby. I'll, I'll try to keep it. I'll try to keep it short at least. Really, the only thing I wanted to talk about was just Sony's save migration system and the upgrade so system true. that they currently have, compared to. Uh, oh wow, Ricky Ricardo. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shit. Uh, I just <laughs> he's got some flight editor. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> uh, I I wanted to just mention it because it's it's been like in the headlines these last twenty four hours, and really it's because of our Avengers, yeah. right? Um, so we all know, you know, the upgrade process for, for instance, like for the Xbox, right? If you have a game on Xbox One and it's upgraded to Series X, you just literally pop the disc in, or the Series X will just download the 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 process or the game for you, right? Without any any hoops to jump through. If you have the saves that you played the game on the Xbox One, it will automatically migrate those same saves to the new version that you have on the Series X, and so on and so forth. Sony's does not seem to be that easy, right? Uh, what happened is the the Avengers game actually is the one that accentuated it. And why? Because they were talking about how to migrate your save from the PS4 to the PS5. Apparently, you have to launch the patched PS4 version, go to the save migration tab, initiate the upload, launch the PS5 version where you'll be prompted to download the data. If you have, you know, I mean, so yeah. you basically have to just go through some more hoops in order to do this. And for me, I think this is unless they do something to make this a little bit easier, at least for the people that want their saves migrated or the upgrade process a little bit easier. This is going to be keep being a sticking point yeah. because we've seen it before with other games as well. Look at Spider-Man. What happened, man? I don't, if people didn't make a stink about, uh, you know, when the Spider-Man uh, remastered version came out with Miles Morales, uh, initially they said that your save is not going to transfer. I think if people didn't make a stink about it, they would not have been able to do it. And even then, that still was not an easy process to do, right? In, in order to get it. You can get it, but it still was not as seamless as just like, oh, hey, mm -hmm. here's remastered of the same game, but I have the what's it called. So my whole point, my whole thing is it's being accentuated further because of how easy it is, how easy their competition has made it. Right? right, I think if Xbox does, did not have this, let's just say in an alternate universe, the Xbox did not have this ease of upgrades with their saves and uh, with the saves and with the uh, with the, the the new versions of the games themselves. I don't think this wouldn't have been that. This would have been that big of a deal. It would have still been annoying, but not that big of a deal. But now, when your competition comes out and makes it so as so fucking easy as to just download or to just install, and the console itself will do it for you. That itself becomes annoying because that's a quality of life issue that you don't want, right? right. Like, right. despite even your more your more most, most hardcore fans or backers of your console itself, I don't think they can even deny something like this. Can they downplay it? Yeah, sure, right. But at some point, it's going to bite you in the ass, and at some point, you do have to face reality and be like, "Why the fuck isn't this as easy as it should yeah. be?" Yeah. You know, like it just should be an easy process and it's definitely not. So I hope they end up fixing this at some point. You know, that's all really I wanted to say about it because it is really fucking annoying, you know, especially like games that, uh, you know, it, uh, what about like for God of War, for instance, if I wanted to replay it, I don't think that'll be a problem, right? If my save, uh, if my save downloaded from the cloud. Yeah, because it's not, it's not technically a PS5 version. It's an enhanced right, version for right. the PS5, but it's not a completely separate uh, yeah. uh, version like the Avengers or whatever it is. So the whole fact that we got to question it is that's such... the problem. Why does yeah. this need to be questioned? <laughs> why am why do I have this as a bullet point to talk <laughs> about it? It should exactly. not be. You know that that that's really my my thing about it. So Kevin, I know you mentioned something about it yesterday. I'll get to you, Jordan. 
Xbox guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're living on fucking cloud nine right now. <laughs> right? I can only imagine how shitty, you know, or, or, or I can only imagine how foreign this must be to somebody right, like you. But right? I mean, what yeah. do you think of this, dude? Like, there really, this shouldn't be a topic of conversation. It really shouldn't. No, no, it shouldn't. Um, the save migration system, it's a, it's a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, oh you're pulling. Oh, <laughs> oh he took a page out of my book. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> it, 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 really, it really is unfortunate that it that it's that convoluted for them. And like I said, it's just it just goes to show hats off to how 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 um Microsoft's been pushing everything to be so user friendly. Um, and you may have seen the the video that I believe Xbox edited, where they they superimpose the, oh, the Xbox uh, One faces from the from from when from when the, the one came out. They were talking about how to game share with your friends. You just hand them the game. No, you you, you, you just install it to your Series X. Two thousand thirteen. The meme that. wars. The meme wars. Oh my yes. god. But yeah, 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 it's it's a bummer, right? And I wish it was easier because it should be. It should be easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Kevin. What do you what do you think about this, man? I'm sorry. I was uh, I was reading the uh, the fucking three page instruction guide on how to migrate my <laughs> my save game. Um, how to migrate? Launch the fully patched PS4 version and go to the save migration tab to initiate the upload. Once that is done, launch the PS5 version. Will you will be prompted to download the data, even if you have both the PS4 and PS5 version of the game Fuck on that, the same dude. console? Save my blah 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 blah. Blah, blah xbox launch game that's it so dude seriously no so here's the problem right is i did post about it and they have been resting on their shit dude they haven't done fucking squat on the backside <laughs> infrastructure they haven't dude and they've been and, and maybe you know they've been focusing on their great games and whatever else but I think they need a full rework dude and they're gonna spend millions and millions of dollars to uh patch that um, or forklift that backend infrastructure Fork. to support these these uh, you know uh, seamless upgrades. They don't have it, and maybe that's why Jim Ryan wanted to believe so much in generations because uh, this is going to be a tough this is going to be a tough ploy for him to 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 pull over. And I think people are going to start noticing when I have to fucking smart, I just read Kevin. you instructions on how to. <laughs> Uh, fucking transfer migrate no dude this is not this is not you know this is supposed to be uh, easy this uh, is supposed yeah. to be easy your your kids are playing this no adult yeah. wants to sit here and fucking read through instructions yeah. on because their kid is bitching about their ps4 save yeah. game that they spent 600 hours playing not coming over to the ps5 so man yeah. they they need to do something because i think this is going to become more of a prevalent problem yeah and yeah. um I don't think it's an easy fix. I, I think it goes, it starts at their store and uh -huh. their back end, you know, data centers. And uh, I think that's why we see all these limitations with their, um, with how the games attach to their uh, PSN IDs, you know, unlike, you know, you can change your gamer tag a million yep. fucking times. Yep. You can't change your PSN nope. ID as easily. Yeah. Um, no. And, and I think they've been slowly working on this, but shit, man, the quality of life's gonna, gonna suck honestly when yeah, uh, yeah. during this migration from ps4 to ps5 and then if people get through that and they manage that then ps5 to ps6 is going to be the same fucking shit Ooh. show uh, unless right unless they actually fix the underlying issue um so let's go sony let's go <laughs> spend yeah, some man. of that naughty dog Good last points, of us Kevin. money let's go <laughs> hell yeah seriously man hell yeah, hell yeah. Yes. just imagine being one of those players that like downloaded the playstation 5 version only to have to st delete it download mm -hmm. the playstation 4 version that Fuck. you just had on there Fuck. upload the data then delete it then download the playstation 5 version again <laughs> yes. you're yes. downloading three games in one yes. day so when that yeah. hawkeye thing hit they were like <laughs> "Fuck yeah uh, what's going on <laughs> doom killer doom killer experienced this he like hit me up Did and it? he was like dude this is fucking bullshit he's like i'm actually just gonna like not even worry about it today. Yeah. How shitty is that? You get, you basically have to, I mean, sure. You, if you have faster internet, like a game will download like pretty quickly or whatever, but still man, like yeah, when, yeah. You're, 
when you're hyped and you're like wanting to put in that yeah. game and then you end up realizing that you still got to wait two more hours because you got to delete and do all this bullshit and read a website and all like kevin hit the mark man and i know yeah. you're savvy in this kind of stuff kevin so like whatever you said like that's why they believe in generation things dude like i really like i really do believe that almost or at least it had <laughs> some type of a some some time i mean of like i was being a dick honor. but honestly <laughs> yeah, i was yeah but dude, you gotta understand man like those are one of those things where it's like they're because they wouldn't sit there and say like it's not that we believe in generational things we just didn't do anything for the upgrade so fuck you guys I, <laughs> you know what i yeah, mean like, yeah, i think we're just out. gonna be seeing how much yeah, exactly. how much microsoft put into this kind of shit the smart delivery they yeah. their 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 yeah. xbox live infrastructure i think it's gonna become more and more and and sony has always lacked but i think that rift is going to be bigger because now everything's it connected everything yeah. needs to be seamless right. it matters so much more now I so uh, you know go ahead Kevin. My bad. yeah no no I, I i just think it's going to become more more prevalent and i would hate for people to uh you know be like eh, it's easier on xbox yeah. would i hate it maybe not but i mean uh, you you don't want that you you don't want somebody to stay away from your console because oh shit man yeah mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this game on the p uh, on the Xbox because mm -hmm. I hear shitty things about how it migrates or how you know yeah. my save game I don't want to lose on... my shit exactly yeah. and yeah. I mean and Gamers I was love their shit too their dude they do I I lost a bunch of saves because only my home console syncs up uh saves for ps4 my home console is not the one i play on it's the one my wife occasionally plays on right exactly. which is how you usually set those things up for other people yeah, I, to play yeah. right mm -hmm. and even though i had ps plus my games didn't fucking uh upload to the cloud because i didn't play them out on my home console that doesn't oh, happen yes so i lost i lost like three or four save games that i had um like death stranding my god of war save all this other shit because i just formatted and i thought it would work like right. an xbox does and it doesn't right. um so these things i mean that that kind of soured me up i was like well that's fucking bullshit because no matter where you fucking play your game if you can reach xbox live you, that yeah. save will mm -hmm. upload every single yeah. fucking time that's incredible yeah. my that's console incredible. your console x cloud yeah. on your phone taking yeah. a shit it doesn't yeah. fucking matter <laughs> but but why the fuck do I have to go in and enable an option? When yeah. in God's name would I not want to save to the cloud? Tell That's me, true. what fucking That's instance true. would I right. not want to save to the cloud? Exactly. So That's come on, true. Sony, let's go, let's go. I read let's an article this. about Xbox and they were saying, they were just like, yeah, we were kind of prepped for it. I don't know what to say. What, so what do you guys sent it or something? I saw it on Twitter and they were just like, I don't know. We were just ready for it. And, like i'm paraphrasing obviously but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it sounded like dude honestly like uh, one of those things to me i to, to me I, to me i uh i don't know if you guys listen to colin moriarty uh he's got that up uh, the he's got the sacred symbols the uh the uh podcast for playstation so he, it's a playstation centric podcast right but i mean he says it and he's always said it he thinks he he says he's like these things are done better by xbox than sony because xbox just has better engineers Mm -hmm. they have better engineers right they, they run and, and he, he says it himself windows or yeah, yeah yeah you know he's like so these little quality of life improvements or quality of life things that we yeah. see on the xbox side that we don't see on sony's and this isn't to shit on sony i don't no. want anybody you know like it's not it's just it's there it's yep. glaring yep. and it's obvious so yeah I, I actually do tend to agree with him, unless Sony just thinks that maybe the money to to, to put, invest into these things is just not worth it. But I don't. It's it's got to be worth it, dude. It has and to be. I feel like Microsoft has always lacked in creativity, but had solid tech and engineering. Versus Sony's more of a creative company, you know, in terms of the PlayStation, they've always been creative. They've always taken a little more risk, maybe not Nintendo like risk. But Microsoft <laughs> has a solid solid engineering background, and yeah. it's showing yeah. here. Oh, yeah. um, and it, it's going to be in spades, you know, uh, yeah. and, and I don't know how Sony's going to not have to spend money on this. They're going right. to have to spend money on this. Right. That's right. crazy so, to think about, man. Let's just hope they fix it. So we don't need to ever talk about this again, because it's going to be a talking shit issue, for like, real. like you guys said, but, uh, yeah, uh, that is, that was the final thing guys. Um, again, hell of a week. We had a lot to talk about. Thank you yeah, to everybody. Good stuff, dude. Yeah, man, it was amazing. Um, thank you to everybody who joined us in the chat. It's always fun talking to you guys. Diego, 
Oh, you know, thank yeah. you, brother Wilmy and Hassan and Faz and everybody, all every one of you guys that joined us. I really appreciate you guys every week coming out and shooting the shit with us. Uh, oh, yeah. And then uh, a, a shout out goes to the MVP Jordan. Pinch hit. Fuck yeah, Jordan. Hour. Jordan, I love you, brother. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Always a fucking pleasure having you with us, man. Dude, pleasure's uh, mine. Pleasure's all mine. Seriously. Appreciate you, man. And the funny yeah. thing is, I'm probably going to talk to you in like 15 minutes. Hell after yeah, we... dude. Hell uh, yeah. See yeah. you on the green, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's shit. exactly what we'll be doing. Uh, do you guys have any. <laughs> uh... <laughs> are you okay mike yeah i think yeah. he's good man. Okay. I, I, oh, I yeah, was I, doing I, the uh you know when the redheaded dude takes glasses off and it's like uh <laughs> csi or whatever bro that's what jordan did yes oh yes. you're thinking that's of awesome. uh fucking horatio, horatio Kane. Uh, yeah there you go oh yeah <laughs> must be that's a good. murder <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess you so could fucking, say backlog. So fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, man. Anyway, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, Jordan, thanks for coming, man. Yeah, of course, and, uh, man. Of course. Yeah, dude. Always a pleasure. But uh, where can they find you at? Um, you can find me on Twitter at Roguelite PAC. Also on Xbox at Roguelite PAC. I'll be playing any fucking game with anybody. Just give me some games. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Straight up, man. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, Jordan, Mike, you guys have any uh, parting words? Yeah. Go see the Snyder Cut. I'm telling you right yeah. now, it's that different. It is worth watching. The Flash. Ooh, the Flash and Cyborg highlights. Anyways, cool. that's nice, all I got. Man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, Kevin, anything? I'm good, man. Thanks for everybody showing up and all right. We done. Thanks, guys. Until yeah. next time, I'm Mo and Kevin, Mike, and for Jordan. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Thank you, guys. Peace. Peace out. Bye. Later. Peace. Salutations. Yeah.